All right, we're back. Hey there, guys. It's Metro, and the stream is brought to you by the coldest water. So, uh, that's been going on IRL recently. Um, talk about it in a minute, but I did get another round of golf in this weekend, and uh, as you know, I've been very interested in uh, these bottles because of their ability to uh, be brought for golf, and I had a lot of problems with that last season. So, uh, I finally played 18 holes at Summit Hills, and I brought both of the bottles that you see behind me. And uh, I'll, I'll say this is the funniest thing. Two things happened. Uh, overnight the other day, it was like freezing. Like we actually got an appreciable amount of snow again in the middle of the <laughs> spring here. Uh, and I left that one out uh, in the car. And I was like, oh my God, I bet the water is going to freeze, right? But I guess because the, uh, um, you know, the insulation factor in the bottle works both ways it doesn't like yeah temperatures outside don't get in either i was, I was like what the fuck so i get I, I open it and it's like the exact same temperature it was it's pretty crazy it was like freezing out um but yeah that's cool and then uh, another thing that i've been noticing with these bottles is they're kind of like uh, the big one keeps like kind of bouncing around in the car kind of get slamming against the rack and everything and i'm pretty satisfied with its damage it's not really taking much a couple scratches, but nothing that you really could notice unless you know where they are. And uh, a little small dent on the bottom. But yeah, very durable. I'm very satisfied with this product. So I'm very happy that we uh, were able to work together here, honestly. So it's really good. But anyway, take care. What's up? Your hair looks well. I just got out of the shower. Um, I have to shower a lot more now in the spring because my hair traps all these allergens. And I don't want to have allergy attacks. Anyway, um, so let's talk a little bit about what's been going on and what will be going on in the future for anybody looking for an update. So two weeks ago, uh, before two weeks ago, we were streaming a lot, especially on the weekend, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, especially. That stopped two weeks ago because my mother had uh, surgery. Um, since then, she's great. Like She's actually seemingly way ahead of schedule, like doing so good that it's kind of crazy. Um, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with that. So she doesn't really need my help anymore, but I still wanted to spend, you know, a fair amount of time with her. Um, so this last weekend, the NCAA tournament had been going on. She's a huge fan of Gonzaga. They played all the way up to the national championship and did not win last night. So that's that for that. Uh, no more basketball. Um, that was in the evenings. Uh, but on top of that, me and Sai have been starting a new project these last few months, which hasn't eaten up too much of my time. Uh, until this last week um, and it's going to continue to do so so uh, what we've been doing is we've been interviewing candidates for two jobs that we're uh, looking to hire people for um, a writer and a video content creator or multiple I guess more so so we've going to be interviewing like upwards of 50 people he's interviewing people right now but I'm here streaming instead okay so um, typically we have to do that during the day which is usually when I would stream and uh, I'm going to have to continue to do that <laughs> until we have our guys. So at least one more week of that. Uh, and then I don't know what the future is going to look like. But um, yeah, so this this week, it's probably going to be more of the same. I'm going to try to get stuff in on the, during the evening, but uh, no promises there, unfortunately. So uh, but yeah, definitely going to stream today. Definitely going to stream tomorrow, both today's uh, keys and today's raid and tomorrow's keys and raid. So probably done with the Paladin for the season now. I uh, won't be able to play that again. I uh, won't have much time. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll have some time in the evening on a weekday or a weekend, uh, something like that. But that's pretty much where we're at. So um, just a heads up for everybody who's wondering. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it's going to be... Hopefully, I'll get more videos made. Hopefully, we'll have more time for that. But yeah, for streams, just, down, just can't... I mean, it's either late or it's not at all. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Bola, what's up, buddy? How far did y'all get in raid? Uh, yeah, we've been 6 to 10 for a really long time. Uh, is this channel dying out? Yes, that's exactly what I just said. All right, well, let's do the missions. And we'll see what happens here with the keys. Good morning, JP. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Okay. Get some AP or get some uh, experience. Then we'll go open the vault, and then we'll get some keys done. Hopefully get some actually keys finished. I don't know what this week is, but hopefully it'll be more successful than last week, whatever that was. What is that adventure add-on you're using? It is called Venture Plan. 
Not that. Very good add-on. I haven't updated it in a long time, though, so I bet it's probably even better now. I guess the Stygia one is what we should be targeting. Nope. Don't really understand, like, what would you have to do to be able to finish this? Uh, let's see if you're having more fun this week. You seem very tilted last week. Yeah, don't, doesn't have anything to do with the week, unfortunately. Just the players. I don't think they're going away, so... Not gonna be any different this week, I doubt. Just gotta get lucky, really, and just get players who aren't like that, but it's impossible to tell, so. You don't find out until it happens. Last week I was just extremely stressed with everything else going on, honestly. I took my frustration out on the keys, and that wasn't fair to to anybody, but that's the truth. Is this is the reset late? Nope, it just happened. What do you mean late? Okay, so... It's not, not really that many missions. I don't think we could ever... I feel like if we ever send more than one guy out, it's like dramatically lowering our chances to succeed. Seems like I should just try to get as much experience as we can here. Okay, that's it. I, I quite like the missions, I'll tell you what, they're pretty fun. And I feel like I'm pretty much net neutral, or net positive maybe even, on uh, Anima. So, even though I haven't been able to play much at all recently, I'm uh, well above 5k Anima. Alright, let's go get these quests too, get even more Anima. We need to pick up the weekly dungeons as well. Oh, I should have probably done that. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I should have done that before how we opened the chests at the vaults. I mean, nope, the missions. The weekly anima quest would have been uh, probably like quarter of the way done already. You still have your head. All right. I assume this quest counts for the other quest, right? Uh, I should probably pick these up too. Just because you never know, we might get one done in the dungeons. So that's free stuff. I am quite busy. I quite like that, that it's like, you know, effectively like you just get it for playing the game a lot of the times, but if I was ever looking to actually finish it, I don't think I would get it, but anyway, hey Metro just jumped in and got only the last part about less streaming. What's the project you're hiring for? What's planned for the future? Uh, so yeah, we're um, hiring video content creators and uh, writers for a new project me and Sire are starting. Uh, honestly, I'll tell you what, I'm extremely bad at explaining it. <laughs> but long story short, we're trying to build like a gaming brand. And uh, a big part of that is going to be a uh, YouTube consultation and uh, teaching, coaching, stuff like that. So that's what we're doing. And uh, we're going to get it launched by April 20th is his goal. So that is fast approaching. We got about two weeks. So yeah, these next two weeks are going to be very busy for me. So. Uh, th it's not that I don't have the time to do stuff. It's just that I don't have the time in the afternoon to do stuff because that's the only time we can all get together. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately. So we'll, we'll try to stream in the evening. I don't know, but I can't uh, make any promises. So, But I'll still try to make videos and stuff. Plenty of time for that. Have you tried Venthyr and Dungeons? No. Uh, was late for me. I was on when it happened. It should have reset and nothing had happened. Well, don't forget, Daylight Savings Time moves it back to 11 now, so. Sounds like an awesome adventure. Good luck on these endeavors, sweet man. Thanks. Yeah, hopefully it will be. Uh, me and Sai have... We've, we've done, like, a variety of things together in a, for a long time. Uh, probably, like, three or four different major projects over the last five or six years. And this is actually probably going to be like the culmination of all of the knowledge we've gained together into one, like uh, all the different things we've ever done combined into one project. So we'll see how it goes. I'll tell you, it's been really fun just uh, meeting people who are like actually passionate about gaming. We've had some interviews that have been excellent, like really fun to meet these people and to hear their thoughts on gaming and, you know, their passion for it. So how's that? It's a new logo, I guess. Okay. Alright, so... Let's 
go pick up the weekly quest, open our vault, and hopefully get some keys done. So we got plenty of time. It's only 11 o'clock, so I'll try to get this stream to be pretty long since we're not able to do much on the weekends anymore. Uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> but I was, uh, didn't really, I, I made a video on that MDI situation. Hopefully you guys have seen it, but I was disappointed there was no <laughs> real conversation about what I was asking people to converse about. I guess that's not surprising. It was a relatively long video, but I don't know. I'm, I'm confused by the whole situation. Some people are trying to suggest that, like, it's not, it wasn't about the money. It was about the time investment. And I just don't fully understand, like, who's choosing to invest that amount of time into a tournament like that, like, and then complaining about investing that much time. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't think Blizzard expects you to be practicing 80 hours for a single one day tournament thing or whatever three day tournament thing but maybe okay so let's pick these up then we'll go get the vault open it would be my that'll be that to help you. It is clear you deserve only oh and and then also ptr coming up so that's yeah we're gonna be making a lot of videos on that so that was always the problem with uh, beta and stuff too didn't really have a lot of uh, things to stream on there, but we definitely had a lot of things to cover, so we'll definitely be doing that. I'm looking forward to getting back to the PTR. Hopefully there'll be some good stuff. I, I assume next week. Hopefully not this week, because it's going to be really busy. Although uh, next week's not going to be any less busy, but we'll see. See what happens there. It's up here. I think the problem is that he wants more money, so the competition is better. Yeah, that's not really going to work that way, unfortunately. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get our loot. Oh. I, oh, it's got leech too. That's funny. Wait, there's another haste first, haste first weapon? Well, we definitely don't want the gloves. Oh, I definitely don't think we want the... It's lower... Or no, it's like... Oh, wow, what the fuck? It's almost identical. 89 haste, 53 verse. 92 haste, 50 verse. That's bizarre. Alright, so let's get the... Uh, I'm going to grab this, even though it's from the raid. Hey, Shig, what's up, buddy? Even though it's from the raid, I think I'm going to grab it. It's, it seems interesting. Maybe we might use it today, honestly. Your, your damaging abilities have a high chance to deal 568 physical damage. Healing you for 300% of the damage dealt. If this effect overheals, deal 2.394 physical damage split evenly be between enemies. So I think that would be pretty good for raids too, honestly. Ah, oh, let's pick that up. I've been looking for that for a long time, but I've never gotten it. It's got leech too. That's pretty lucky. Okay. Oh yeah. So what? What is it this week? Raging explosive. Oh, okay. That's a pretty easy week, honestly. Okay, so we really got a lot of trinkets now. Let's see. Don't know why I still have that belt. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that belt in there? I guess I just replaced it and never removed it from my bags. Yeah, all right. Uh, spike is underwhelming for me. Can't replace my scale and kale trinket. Yeah, I'm looking for one that does like a little offense and a little defense. So that seems like that would be the one. Plus it's high item level too. So lots of strength. I think it might actually be better than File of Putrefaction, but maybe not. We'll see. It's hard to measure the leech strength against the actual trinket itself, but we don't seem to be getting that, so. Uh, those pulls and exact timings are quite impressive, though. Especially the fact that you can't make mistakes when you're actually competing. Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's true. My only pick that was reasonable with 225 IQD, but I would never use it as a tank. Nah, I'm never going to use that either. The thing about that, though, is, like, that's what makes it so unrealistic, actually. Somebody just said that this morning on the comments of that video. Um, that they should just ban practice, because that is why it's so unrelatable. Um, that is, is, like, the actual reason why watching the MDI is so unrelatable, honestly. And I totally agree. Like, for real, 100%. Uh, because they're doing all that bizarre, extremely, extremely, extremely specific shit. It's not, like, I can't, I can't relate to it at all. It doesn't look like the game I'm playing. Um, so if they literally just had to go in and wing it, like most people do, you know what I mean? Like your average key looks like. 
it would be a lot more interesting, I think, to watch. Because there would be mistakes. Like, you'd have wipes and still winners. Like, it's not like if both teams wipe, it's not like the key ends, right? They don't have to fucking upgrade the key to, to win. So it's like, oh, okay, interesting. I think that's actually the solution. Yeah, they definitely shouldn't be allowed to practice for two fucking weeks or whatever the hell they were on about. Hey, Metro, what's up? Patrice, welcome. Not much. Uh, did you just get that spike trinket? Yes, just got it right now. First time ever owning it, so we'll try it out. What more gonna get? Oh, that's strong. I liked what Dratnos and them did one week to key push extravaganza where they covered Mythic Plus key, Mythic Plus push teams instead and looked at who could push the highest. Yeah, that was a cool idea. I remember that actually. I remember that. It was an interesting concept. That was right before Shadowlands launched, right? Interesting concept, but still nobody getting paid for that, so those people would be even less interested. It does proc a lot, gotcha. Average key looks like a train wreck, right? That's what I'm saying, like... Let's have a let's have a run where there are mistakes and they have to overcome those mistakes. You know what I mean? I actually think that would be the way that, that solves all the problems too. It's fucking genius. That person was like way ahead of their time thinking wise. It's like solves all the problems. You they're no, now no longer bitching about having to practice so much and getting so little money from the actual winning of it. Uh, they no longer have to spend eighty hours a week not streaming the practice. Or whatever the fuck they're talking about so they can make more money elsewhere and the event gets more interesting automatically like honestly i does any I, I mean not like we have the conversation happening here but like does anybody actually feel like the the best part of that is watching them execute like bizarrely accurate strategies like i i don't like i, I want to see how the best players in the world tackle dungeons that i might be able to learn from but you can't learn anything from that you know what i mean it's not now that I know how often they're practicing as well. It's like it's even I can I can learn even less now. It's just never going to be able to be rep replicated, and especially because they can do whatever they want with covenants, you know. MBI is a snore. They really should just do the tornadoes like the game, how the game really is. Well, I mean, they they didn't set out to make it not like the game. That's for sure. It's just the situation of Shadowlands is what set that up. So. Makes the game feel dull at a faster rate. The problem is that they would just practice in live. That's great. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Because they wouldn't have access to everything that they have on there. So that would be good. That would be a good good thing, honestly. That would be better. Being able to practice in the environment that is the actual game is far better than being able to practice in an environment where you could literally just reset or do whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you could literally do whatever the hell you want whenever you want. That's not how the game is supposed to work, so. And it would be way more interesting, too, for their communities, I bet. Like, if it was a scenario where, like, uh, does anybody have a 18-something, you know what I mean? Like, then they'd be getting people involved, maybe. Like, I don't know, but I think it would just be a better, way better situation all around. Okay, anyway, let's get out to theater. What are the affixes this week? Uh, raging Explosive. So this is a great week. I love this week. Probably one of my favorite weeks, period. Oh, wait, hold on. We got everything wrong still. Uh, Grip the Dead. Voracious. Okay, that's good. Let's change our conduits. Actually, I think I have this... At this point, I'm just going to keep Naya for tyrannical weeks, honestly. Just get as much damage as possible in. How was that? Why did that go black like that? Anyway, um, they would actually need to think about how to do pulls or squish in big pulls that they haven't practiced. Yep, that'd be cool. I think it would be way better. Have something where MDI players have to pug. <laughs> we were suggesting that, yeah, like random, everything random. I thought that would be fucking cool, actually. All random, MDI. Like, you don't even know what classes you're gonna have. You have like 30 minutes to set up. 
you get like all the info 30 minutes ahead of time you have some time to set up and then it's time to go the arbiter sees all truths that'd be cool one way or the other the money is not going to increase though I was saying, like, there's got to be a solution for them, but there's never going to be a solution for Blizzard. Like, Blizzard is not ever going to take a loss on this. You know what I mean? Which is basically what some people were suggesting. It's like, Blizzard needs to give more money. It's like, yeah, that's not going to be happening. So, I mean, if uh, unless you're, like, 100% sure they're being super greedy somehow, I don't know. <clears throat> All random MDI would be dope, I'd watch. Yeah, that sounds way more interesting than what they're doing, right? Well, we suggested, like, a draft system for classes as well, yeah. I don't know about players, but I think a draft system for classes would work pretty well. Where you literally uh, have to pick, like, okay, so that guy picks Havoc or Vengeance Demon Hunter, so that's it. You can't, nobody else can be Vengeance, you know? It'd be interesting to see that. But then I'm sure all they'd be complaining about is how they didn't get to play what they wanted to play or something. I don't know. I just saw that article and I was like, I, I'd really like to have a conversation about this, but the conversation never really materialized. There was a bunch of people just either insulting me or insulting them. <laughs> Nobody really had much to say about the actual topic. Only like one guy, and that was like the most influential opinion of all of them. Our random affixes each time. I think that is the case, right? I don't. Maybe they do know. I don't know, but. Yeah, I think a class ban or a spec ban or something, yeah. That'd be neat. I mean, that's how, like, the League handles, like, the draft system, so I think that's probably how, if you had a draft, you'd handle it the same way, but... Okay, this guy's enhanced, it looks like. Troll. Looks very good. Troll enhanced is very good. There will always be complaints, I'm sure, but there'll be a lot more other entertaining ways of doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's not meant to be, like, it is meant to be competitive, right? So, got to keep that in mind, but. Hey, Mitchell, how's it going? Do you still include the Zolramus gatekeepers in your routes after the first boss in Necrotic Wake? Yeah, I haven't changed anything about Necrotic Wake. Sadly, uh, the route I'm doing there does require one or two bad pulls, but the rest are really good. Or, hear me out, make the other team build around a specific spec like Survival. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they should ever limit it per spec, that's for sure, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you'd handle that, but... A couple options out there. One way or the other, it's not going to make it any less interesting... Or any more, like, interesting to watch, I don't think. Like, it's not going to double viewership, right? Which is what would probably have to happen in order to be much more monetarily lucrative. So those complaints or whatever is happening there is always going to exist, unfortunately. Ah, an alliance group. That's rare to see them. Morning Metro hopes all is well in your neck of the woods. Yeah, it's pretty good. How you how you been? I like enhanced shaman. They got very yeah, I agree. Yeah. Shaman in general I like a lot. I'd prefer to see more Ellie, but I think uh, Enhance is quite good, too. Just on a healer here. Yeah, I think so for our project. Uh, I think I'm going to start um, getting back into like Pokemon content on there. Uh, I haven't decided what, but I think like we can do some like top 10 favorite Pokemon or you know, something like that. Like maybe uh, I was thinking about trying to incorporate it into like fan games and stuff. One idea I had was to like look at uh, all the different fan games that have different versions of Pokemon, like uh, the Delta one from Insurgents and stuff, Be like top 10 fan-made Pokemon kind of thing, or fan-altered Pokemon, I don't know, a couple ideas, try to see how they materialize, 
Time to herb while waiting. No, I'll just wait. His off healing is insane. Chain Harvest can heal the entire group to full instantly. It is nice, yeah, to have a shaman with that. It's actually pretty beneficial. Got a guy. Well, priest of all things. Uh, they can also heal for like 25k with their instant healing surges. And that's true, yeah. Yeah, they're probably the best like off healing spec right now. Well, I don't know. Bomb can <laughs> could still be good by accident, maybe. This guy is what inside and nice valley strength. Uh, they're like, they, yeah, Red Pally's the BFA. That's a good way to look at it. How's it going, Metro? What's up, buddy? It's going pretty good. Fuck was that nice? Okay, so we got our first key of the week here. Get the sheet up, it's been a while. Since we've done anything with it, but still planning on doing a end of season review of the sheet, so we gotta keep making sure we update it. Today is four, six, what are you doing on there? All right, this is gonna be week six. Tyrannical Raging Explosive. Might as well put it in immediately. There's a heal streamer that do sometimes 15, 16 keys by healing with Ellie Shaman. Gotcha. Have you beaten Council yet? Not yet, no. Maybe this week. We'll see. Rating has slowed down substantially the last few weeks. Okay, are we doing this? Let's see that. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Here we go. First key of the week. Oh. I don't know why that happens. No reason I can't pull all this right now. Raging maybe, but not really. Okay, so we're looking to see how that trinket works out today, obviously. Man, it's been so long since I played. Basically, I haven't done any PvE at all. Since last Wednesday, you cop did do that um, leveling thing on Sunday night there, but that was all I played at all really this weekend. Yeah, we're not getting the rage spells. Okay. We only have 
the bombkin, I guess, but. The healer sketches me a little, not sure why, because they're a priest. That is why. Okay, well, it's dead at least. All you have to do for mythic bosses, everyone has to make zero mistakes for 10 minutes. How hard can that be? Yeah, especially that fight. That's a pretty... That's a tough... Oh, I'm, like, doing damage right now, even while I'm running. Probably not a good thing. Wait, is it a good thing or is it a bad... Maybe it's a good thing because it's healing me up. I don't know. I'm sure. But double enrage is scary. Yeah, I guess so. Didn't think we'd have any trouble with trash on an 18 on a tyrannical leaf, but... Yeah, raging still is a problem. It's procking all the time, you're right. Literally constantly radiating blue waves. They're just not gonna interrupt that mob out there, I guess. Trinket has a lot of visual value, that's, yeah, for sure. does things often. I don't know if it's doing any good things, but it's certainly working. It's like constantly up. What does procking mean? I don't actually know what the word proc means. I don't know where that came from, but in this context it means an effect happens. A spell effect occurs is what that effectively means. It is nice to have two 226 trinkets on, I'll tell you. A little bit extra strength and the leech too, right? So, pretty good. And enhanced shaman is top damage on a group with a boss with three <laughs> targets. Proc is a term that refers to a weapon, item, or activating. A, well, yeah, I know that. I just mean like, what does the actual word proc? Where does that come from? Because it doesn't. It's not a word that I'm aware of, anyway. According to Urban Dictionary, programmed random occurrence. Oh, how about that? That's definitely. Uh, that sounds like it. Interesting stuff. It's a long fight. Oh wow! I just used the I just used the shield trinket at the second the boss jumped away. That's funny. Probably not ideal. Certainly not. I've been with a lot of nice shamans lately. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't know, man. <laughs> I haven't played a lot recently, but I'm seeing less and less success from mages and bombkins every time I play with them, it feels like. Okay. How can you check how much damage when Fury Totem? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure. Does it not have Wind Fury weapon proc for the actual DK as well? Or is it only for... Only for the people who... Only for the shamans. My god. Hello, Peel. I got dead. Alright. Good start to the week. Might as well.
Alright, so anyway, we got... Speeder... 18, disband. And that was with a Dix Priest... Bobkin, Mage, Shaman. Well, that's one in the books. I agree, mages are way overrated. Yeah, I totally agree. Rip key already, yep. I mean, in, in pugging, I feel like having good access to damage is the most important thing, so. People, uh, classes that don't have good access to damage, like, oh my god, look at this nonsense. Jesus Christ, this is getting out of control. Fucking ten keys selling, two keys to do. That is insane. But yeah. That's why I always liked Havoc so, so good in, uh, BFA. I think they're still the same way, but... Priest just dipped randomly. Yeah, I don't know what the... I've, I've given up even caring, honestly. Um, that's probably because here lately a lot of people are going Mage Bombkin for the Flavor of the Month feature and to look meta. They forget they still need to play. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Do the, the other side, I guess. Frost mages are yeah. I would take a frost mage every every key honestly over fire at this point. At first, it seemed like I don't know earlier in the season I wouldn't have agreed with that much, but I don't know if it's just the player base or if it's just like the changes to the dungeons and classes have made things different. But I no longer like there was times when I was like. Oh my god, if we don't have good bursts, we're never going to make this timer. But now it's like, oh my god, if we just had good overall, we'd crush every key. Yeah, that's probably true as well, Faxi. As all the good bombkins and fire mages have moved on to higher keys. Yep, it's just so easy to get carried through if you're playing those specs. What trinkets are you using? Uh, yeah, let's see if we could learn anything about that trinket. Uh, not great. Well, let's see the healing, actually, because it does both. Oh, wow, it did a fair amount of healing. 53k healing? Did way more healing than damage. This trinket might suck. That is not a lot of damage at all. We'll see in an overall, uh, ho hopefully, a finished key. I don't know if we'll get that today. Do you think having a melee DPS for more interrupts is more consistent, or would you always have three ranged? Uh, yeah, three range is fine. Shaman healer makes that uh, not a problem anymore, right? So I guess we'll might as well sign up, but I don't think we'll be getting in. I don't know. There's not many people, it looks like. I've been doing 15s and 16s. I've noticed this season expansion that people leave keys more than I noticed during the beginning of BFA. The beginning of BFA? I don't remember that very well, but the end of BFA? No. I actually have the stats collected from that, and even still with all the problems we've been having... BFA still had a way, way, way higher did not finish rate. Let's put it that way. Like, it was like 60% of the keys I entered did not finish. It's only like 30 or 40% um, this season, but <laughs> the last few weeks it's been way higher. Uh, how's the trinket read again, by the way? Keys seem seen thin keys seen thin on the ground uh crafting my mythic plus sin legendary very excited oh cool your damaging abilities have a high chance to deal 566 physical damage healing you for 300 percent of the damage dealt this effect overheals yeah so i guess if i was a tank like a more proper tank it'd be doing way more damage but since i'm a dk it's probably never going to overheal 300%. I, I don't know. Does that... I don't know how it works. Well, so hopefully we'll finish a key today. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to get in a key today. Uh, maybe we go do some world content while we wait. Okay, so the higher HP you have, the more chance it does damage. Yeah, basically. Uh, less that you're at full health, regardless of HP. So, like, Monk and DK, probably not great for it. It means that there aren't many keys thin on the ground. Oh, I see. Yeah. Thought it was a typo or something. Where do we strike? For Queen and Grove. Yeah, not many keys today. Oh, 
A baseball season started. Anybody excited about that? I'm pretty excited about that. That's another thing I've been doing, watching baseball. I wish I could check my vault via phone app or something. Oh, right. Would you want to check it? I don't think I would want to. If I couldn't open it, I don't think I'd want to check it. Why did that healer leave last key, though? Makes no sense. I don't know. He wasn't satisfied with the balance druid, I guess. He's also playing a shit spec, so. Of course. What do you expect? He was from Ragnaros. He was he actually? Probably the truth. Never tell. <laughs> it's like in a pot there. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Okay, we got them all. Good. We get our hopefully AP anima. You don't always get anima. Baseball tops bunt contest for the win. David Pavin, welcome. Okay, so let's go. Guess we'll go do that infuser thingy. Oh, we can go get our souls. Actually, that'd probably be the best thing. To do while we wait for keys to sign up too. Kong versus Godzilla as well. Anybody see that? I get to see it. Heard it was good. I am excited and scared for the 9.1 seasonal fix. I have a ton of fun with Pride and my pre-dungeon planning feels super impactful. Yeah, I definitely also feel the I feel the exact same way actually. We'll see. Hopefully it's not... I think it's not going to live up to Season 1. I really don't want Season 1 to end, but... It's going to obviously have to end eventually, so... I kind of wish the seasonal effects could just stay prideful, honestly. I guess it's probably the way to put it. But we'll see what happens. I'm so ready for 9.1 effects. Well, you don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. That's a dangerous thing to say. Okay, so let's do this. We'll go do this quick. Okay, I guess we'll do same way to from 18. Easy peasy week, let's get it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Glad you feel that way. Not sure I do, but 19, that'd be nice. There's no actual play path there. Let's hold out for the 19. Be nice to get some progression, but they like have unfortunately given up on all that. Can't even finish keys, let alone upgrade them. Prideful is a great concept. And they should stay in that ballpark. Yeah, I, I hope that they would. I mean, it makes sense that they would. Welcome to the wheels. Wait, what does that mean? The brilliant, wait, the generous patronage of Metro. What? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Just click the dialogue. I'm an Indians fan. We love trading all our talent away. Oh, yeah, Lindor, right? Well, I don't know. They have a good team still or what? I don't actually know. I haven't really followed anything but Yankees yet this season. Although I keep getting news about the Mets, obviously, because Yankees share a market, but... Apparently they had a bad, uh, they had a bad year, a bad night last night. Okay. Wait, can I dodge that? Yeah, I guess so. What is that that I, that what am I even fighting? The Zoth? Oh, what the hell? What is this? It's supposed to be like the boss fight, but I don't remember. There being anything like that. 
Uh, so whoever gave me the tip on going and doing BOD, it was a great tip. We were actually able to do LFR BOD on my Paladin, and I got the shield first try. How cool is that? I just realized I still have the sound elevated from... Okay, I guess we're not getting invited to that key, huh? Alright, how's the Batoma? Let's do it. I wasn't following yet in that time. How is Prideful versus BFA Awaken to fix? Mm, way better, yeah, way better. The Awaken to fix was kind of cool, but I feel like it was a little over. Like, there was. I don't know. I didn't end up liking it at the end, I guess that's the way to put it. It was a really cool idea, though. I'm sure they'll have something uh, similar to that, though, last two seasons. It's just the season before that in BFA it was complete opposite. It was like on a fix that was purely about difficulty, so we'll see. I told you, Holy Pally can solo it. Yeah, you were right. That was you. Uh, it was hard, actually. Very hard. Like I, It took me like three tries, and it was like a ten-minute fight, but <laughs> is, is that what you're experiencing? It was like an incredibly long encounter. It took like over ten minutes. And then I went in to try to do... Um, I can't remember what boss it was. Oh yeah, Vectus. I tried to do Vectus as well, and it was like, nah, no way. Way too, it's gonna be like a 20 minute encounter, and he puts this, the problem is both bosses did this. They both put the stacking debuff up, so if it wasn't for the stacking debuff, it would be a joke to solo it, but both of the bosses I tried to solo put like this insane stacking debuff on me that, I mean, it's not that bad, but when it gets to 60 stacks, it's like, okay. Strike true. That's all we got, you know what I'm Speak saying? Plainly. Can't survive anymore. Watch the shadow. Lindor, oh yeah, Cookie as well. Wait, 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 where did Krasko go? I know Bauer, but he's he's been gone. Brantley, Kluber. That's true, I guess you gotta include Kluber. That looked like the right decision at the time, though. But yeah, if you go back to like 2017, that team's completely different. Our owner doesn't spend money, is that it? Yeah. Some bosses got mechanics that makes it... You can't, sadly. Yeah, it's just about the time it took to kill it, really. It wasn't even about the mechanics. The mechanics were fine. I just literally couldn't do kill a boss quick enough. Pally seems to be in a decent spot. Seeing one do a 19 Spire without a healer. Gotcha. Okay, so let me take, take a look at this real quick. Carlos Carrasco, where is he now? Oh, he's on the Mets and he's hurt, of course. Forgot about that. God, the Mets would have such a good team if they just didn't always have the crazy injuries. What's his injury? A leg injury? Hard to tell. Oh, did you say you were a Yankees fan? That's correct. Huge Yankees fan, huge Duke basketball fan. So those are the two sports that I watch the most. And I'll be watching the Masters, I guess, too, this weekend. I could have a lot of time for that, but. Damn man, also got the gluttonous spire trinket, but on 213, it's very nice, procs often, and the damage and heal is nice too, is it? Well, so far I didn't see that to be the case. We'll see though. Is the Night Fae shapeshift bug still a thing for DKs? Thinking about switching to Night Fae from Necrolord, since we don't have anyone playing Night Fae. Well, that's not a what bug, is it? I'm unaware of any bugs. The problem I'm, I've been having is that uh, you cannot use a spell that's not an undead spell when you're in Lichborn, because it turns you into an undead, which is fucking retarded, but it's how it's always worked, so now that the spell's back, I forgot about that interaction. So constantly trying to use things like uh, Soul Shape while I'm in Lichborn, and it doesn't let me, and I just die because I'm trying to blink away. Duke fan. That's why we don't get along. That's probably one of the reasons. Why? What, what are you a fan of? Duke did not have a good year this year, but... Roy Williams retiring makes it uh, sobering. I think next year might be last for Coach K, honestly, if they don't have a good year. Picked up some upgrades last week. 
1630 blood decay pugger you should take the week off so i can catch up <laughs> i haven't gotten any score in like months dude so i'm not going to be getting any score this week yet either i'm sure we'll see which point interaction is the thing i was talking about yeah it's intended it's not a bug and it's something i should have a macro to solve i just don't I don't ever i don't know i can make it right now i guess how, how does it work Cancel aura? Is that what you type in? Let's do it before I forget again. Wait, what? I'm out of macro slots, okay. Uh, okay, so hashtag show tool tip. Soul shape. Slash cast soul shape. Wait, no, it needs to probably be before that, right? Slash cancel aura, like that? Lichborn? Does that work? Let's find out. Yes, it works. Okay, cool. We now have a macro. <clears throat> Wildcats? What, what team is that? I don't know what team is the Wildcats. I don't, know what that, I don't recognize that name. Anyway, uh, we were in Maw. Okay, so we're doing 18 Sanguine for about, or uh, 18 Halls of Atonement, hopefully. We'll upgrade it. Would you say I should use Stamina Flask or Strength Flask? Yeah, I guess Strength Flask still, yeah. I don't know, I haven't taken much look at it. I don't even use, I really don't even use Flask. But I would never make a stamina flask because the way the ingredients work now, it's just pointless. What, what are the other ones? It's actually, I guess it's less, technically. It's, much, it's less things overall. Oh yeah, it's way less, actually. Oh, maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe you should probably just throw one on if you have them. I don't know, it depends on if you're buying them or not. Like for me, I just make a bunch of them. For a raid, so I can make cauldrons, and then if I have any left over and I need it, I'll throw one on. Yeah, the stamp flask is actually very cheap. I thought it was the other way around for some reason. It's interesting. Oh, Kentucky? Is that. Yeah, Kentucky Wildcats got it. Yeah, I thought we were talking about an ACC team, of course. Hard to have a rivalry outside of uh, the, the division. Just farm Bash and ML Draxus. Yeah, to be fair, you're right. Here, I'll link the route. Ranical. See the data mine new seasonal fix imprisoned. Data mined? There's no, there's not even a PCR yet. How do you data mine something that doesn't exist? Mission tables are also good for resources. For resources. Did I miss something? Was it put, put last night maybe? Yeah, there's no, no PTR yet. That was an April Fool's joke. Oh, yeah, just literally anything on April Fool's. I just completely blocked, didn't even read it, didn't even open it. I honestly, April Fool's is such a fucking wasted. It's probably the most wasted creativity of the year. It's insane. Like I've, people are so creative and they spend all their time wasting it on fucking April Fool's jokes that nobody even. 
<laughs> Nobody even looks at it anymore because they're so lame. It's kind of sad, honestly. Stamina Flask is good when you need to survive in keys that are above your current skill level. I don't think they are, though. I think strength is still better. How much stamina do you actually get? In BFA, I know the strength flask is far more, far more beneficial defensively than the stamina flask, but maybe it's changed. Oh, 105 stamina. That's a lot. I don't know. I, I haven't. I don't know. That's that's like that's just a yes or no thing. So you just find some math and get that answer. Birthdays in two days. Nice. Happy birthday. Okay, but yeah, maybe we would make some strength, some stamina flask, honestly. Problem is, it still requires nightshade, which I don't feel like wasting on flask. And it's only one, though. Oh, that's a big difference. It also requires marrow root, though, which is the herb I never have, so. I see a lot of tanks use stamina flask, gotcha. Alright, anyway, are we ready? My birthday is also the 8th. Happy birthday. How about that? That's insane. I've legit met one guy with my birthday in my life. <laughs> so that is weird, yeah. Monkey's gonna be the first to leave if the keys go south. He might leave right now. My ex was the ninth. Oh, wow. That's weird. Uh, it's gonna be toxic. This monk is talking too much. Yep. I saw a video of a mage macro yelling combusts up tank pull big. That was so cringe. <laughs> How bad do y'all think the fixes are this week? Uh, I think it's actually a pretty easy week, but we'll see. You're still in queue? What? Didn't even start, and this doesn't sound good? Yeah, for real. Maybe he just did this morning, his morning cocaine shine. <laughs> Monk seems intense. Damn, I wish I was recording this. This is like far more entertaining than the key is gonna be. I'm just wondering for an opinion, not saying they're bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think they're bad, so. For me, I love explosive. It's one of my favorite fixes, so I don't mind it. Now he just doesn't log back in. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. I mean, why would you reload? Where are you going? God, these guys have 16s? What the fuck? Who invited these people? This guy's 1300. Fuck. His highest key is a 15. <laughs> what the fuck? Disbanded the Keystone boss? Yeah, okay. Oh, he's back. Okay. On the bright side, the CDs will be back up by the time we ready actually pull. I was, I was about to until he returned. Wait, what key level is this supposed to be? I think it's 18. Is it not? Why? What, do you, what makes you say it like that? Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Actually, the tyrannical route is the one without the invis spot. I can't, I can't actually fully remember. Pretty sure. We have a rogue regardless. So. Pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, no, because it gets us pride before the first boss as well. Be able to interrupt loyal beasts, no problem, guys. I'll just run. Probably for the best anyway. We're raging. Gargoyle on the trash, which I am fine with. That discussion last week about using it on the pride, but I don't, don't fully support that notion. You got a vent there? Yes. I worry that this trinket is going to pull something, though. That blue pulse thing is very large. Thing no sanguine this week. I know, I didn't really like the last week at all. Even though it was supposed to be a good week, it wasn't very fun. This is so much more fun for me. Beware. Such, like, I actually love this week. <laughs> Probably my favorite week that's just based on the fixes, at least, but. Tyrannical is so much more interesting than, uh. Fortified as well, right now. Okay, well that went pretty well. You say that until the con no, I don't even like literally I don't I don't care. I mean, difficulty is not why I'm bringing it up. Beware. Realistically, we're not going to be getting to the last boss of any dungeon, so it doesn't really matter. Metal <clears throat> Anyway, but yeah, so when I ever do have more time for content, uh, I would like to start finding a way to implementing implement content on my rogue. So I finally got um, that rogue, I uh, made that series on uh, no spec rogue, starting to get gear. He can actually do um, LFR now, he's high enough item level. I'm very interested in going into LFR with no spec and see what happens. I think that would be interesting stream content, what do you guys think? Maybe uh, it'd be interesting. Necrotic week. Last boss takes ages on Tyrannical. Yeah. Next week is the big push week. Oh yeah. I don't like it as blood decay. The slow pulse damage keeps my death strike percent low, and I just rot. What are you talking about? Interrupt all those with Gorfiends. I agree, that'd be pretty interesting. I wonder if anyone would notice. That would be part of why I think it would be interesting, yeah. See what the reactions are, or if anybody's even aware. Probably not, though. Uh, Chronicle is by far easier and more fun to fix. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't know about weekly keys, but... For what I'm doing on my DK, it's a lot more fun. A lot more interesting. Beware. Okay. Oh, that was a 
very early length. That's the thing. <laughs> this guy is gonna regret doing that, I think. Oh my god, nobody ever interrupts. Wait, are they? I can't actually tell. No, I think I got it. Too many fucking things on the screen. Too many things on the bars, that is. That mob was nice enough to jump back towards us. I hate Tyrannical for weekly keys. So many dungeons get hard. Well, yeah, if you're doing keys that, like, all you care about is finishing them for credit, then, yeah, obviously, it's not the best to fix. Spice Volcanic Port. Wow, next week is a good, is a joke week. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, you'd think so, but people have a lot of trouble with Spiteful for whatever reason. I thought that too, the first time it came around and then everybody was getting slaughtered by it. Are US wild players just slaves to our base impulses? How's that mean? I'm gonna save room up in here, but probably should have used it at this point. Take a very long time to die. Oh, you think so, but the number of melees crying about Spiteful? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not as not as crazy easy as you would think, but it's definitely, uh, I mean, obviously, any week with volcano, volcanoes are going to be good. Damage seems high on that pack, at least. Not because of the trinket, though, sadly. The healing is okay, though. It's actually decent. I'm surprised. I thought this would be more for damage than healing. As warrior tank, I always intervene the only melee DPS in our group. Makes it a lot easier if I can tank for him. Oh, yeah. It is a joke to the tank, for sure. Okay. Gargoyle, I guess, like that. Skull is not coming. Oh, <laughs> I love how it just jumps into melee range. That is so generous. Very nice of it to do that. We might actually have a bit of a problem here, though, with this mob being this high. Can't remember. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it didn't end up being a problem. It did seem, I, I think that's correct though, we had, if that one mob was at full health, we'd be fighting it with the pride right now. That is some scary, yeah, double, double loyal. They're the most loyal. Stop fucking move. Anyway, oh my god, raging double loyal beast? Yeah, for real. I would uh, I would have to pay a second subscription to be able to stay connected after that. It's hard though, yeah. You're gonna hit you quite hard is what I'm trying to say. Hey, as right with somebody.
Have you always made a tank? No, Arthur. I used to play Holy Pally as my main for like 13 years, pretty much. Long time. It's the end of Classic. I was a Holy Pally. Paladin in general, I guess back then especially, but... It was only Legion that I switched, and it was because I was sick of, uh... No. It was only Legion that I switched, and it was because uh, I was sick of having to keep replacing tanks in our guilds. Making sure that dude's not there right now. One thing I've never been able to get into doing, nothing special. Just playing a video game, pressing buttons. Greetings, hey Night Raven, welcome. Long time to see how you been. What made you pick blood? Just enjoyed the playstyle? Yeah, pretty much. Just kind of fell in love with it. They were really, really, really powerful. In MOP and WAD challenge modes, I had, like, played every tank through them. In WAD challenge modes, Blood got extremely overpowered in, so... I kind of just stopped doing everything else but playing Blood DK. And at that point, it was like, uh, I was playing it more often than my Paladin. That would have been in WAD. And that was just because there was nothing to do outside of Raid on your main in wad uh, but then in legion um they nerfed or they just basically ruined Paladin. and they didn't nerf it they just ruined it completely fucked it all the things i liked about it they got rid of basically uh, and i was very unsatisfied with the legendary system i would gotten extremely unlucky on my Paladin. i got the two worst legendaries the first two i got and i got the two best ones the, the ones on my dk uh, that i got so um i was like i'm just done honestly with the spec and uh, eventually the Opening in the raid roster accommodated that. What's your favorite movie? I don't know if I have a favorite movie. Zack Snyder's Justice League, maybe, actually. That was fucking excellent. I think this is most of the group's first 18. They seem so fidgety. No, they legitimately, yeah. They, like, two of these people have never done anything above a 17, so. Okay, well, we gotta get rid of that first of all. Might as well just pull it. in the room. How did Warner Brothers have both of those movies and decide to release the one other one instead of the Snyder Cut? Uh, well, they didn't, actually. Warner Brothers was the reason that there was no Snyder Cut, right? They didn't want the film to be that long. I don't. I, I'll, I'll never understand, honestly. I, I don't understand anybody. Like, just get out of the fucking movie business. If you if you want a weaker version of the film, just so it's not as long, then stop making films, honestly. Like, please, you're wasting the audience's time. You, you, I think they, they they think they're helping the audience, but they're actually doing the complete fucking opposite. Like, how fucking ignorant is that, right? Okay, I'm gonna pay these people to make this film, but I want the worst version of it possible, so I'm gonna make them cut out all the best shit. I right, don't make the fucking film then, if that's the case. Yeah, 
Like the only people who complain about a film's length are people who didn't like the film, right? So why are we catering to those people? I don't know. Why are you trying to cater to people who don't like the film they're watching? Can we do you enrage these things? It's about saying it full. Never got de enraged. Lawrence of Arabia is four hours. I don't know what that is. People watch 20 hours of a T sheet. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Watching Snyder Cut in theater would have been horrible. All the slow mo. Yeah, so you didn't like the film. Like, that's... I mean, I don't know. That's the thing. Like, a good film, I would watch 10 hours, you know? Even if you have to take a break. Like, what? who cares? I don't know why that's a problem. You guys don't know generalized calls like that. If you don't say sued, they are lost. Okay, then they should not be playing the video game. Beware. I said D and Rage because they both have different names and not. One's Shiv, one's Sood, so I'm not gonna type Shiv slash Sood. What does that actually mean? Hamilton was put in movie form and had a two minute intermission. Yeah, that's, that's a good option. Two minutes is not a long time, I don't know what the I've been watching Lord of the Rings Extended Edition and gangster movies like Godfather since I was a kid. Yeah, that's true. The Godfather really long as well, right? Uh, yeah. I think Snyder's Cut is pretty overhyped, but that's just my opinion. You, know, and you didn't like the film, no problem. Not a problem. I'm sure there's a lot of people who didn't like the film. Me again, that's pretty lucky. Holy shit, very lucky. You could easily do a 15 20. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I think they should do. 15 minute intermission, so everybody, I, although I don't know, maybe it wouldn't work that way. Good afternoon. Thanks a lot, man. Five bucks. Very generous, as always. Needs to be dead before this, really. I don't know how we've done to the little damage here. Uh, luckily, you have a mass grip. A non mass grip that's spread out ads would lead to a wipe. Oh, yeah. What does everybody else do then? They just don't do it or what? Is this guy returning or no? I guess not because he's Ragnaros. Uh, how do you get the same amount of views on your streams as YouTubers with 140k subs? I don't. <laughs> uh, if, if I do, there's a problem. But I don't.
engaging the chat. <laughs> I love it when people end with an, an opinion with. DPS is dead. Correct. I don't know why. He's been rezzed. Metro has Lawa's always been an engaging person. That's why I keep coming back. Sweet. Thanks, man. Matt, what's up, buddy? Uh, hey, Metro. How's it going? I was able to finally tie my first 19 last week on my bear. A DOS was super fun. Oh, great. It's, I've gotten 119 as well, but that's it. There's more green. Healer. Uh, anyway, if healer actually stands on the boss, on the ad spawns and no slows get applied, DPS wait for them to funnel to, to vote. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, no, I, I guess you. I don't think it's a problem. This was my point. No, you do. Dollar on Gaming has 140k subs and gets the same amount of viewers on his stream that you do. Sad. Sad to hear that. That dude doesn't actually do anything on his stream though. He just fucking fucks around. We were actually taking a look at this, you know, since we're getting into the business again. We are actually taking a look at this the other day and there's people out there with like 50k views on, on YouTube and shit. It's kind of wild. There was a channel that got $63,000 in super chats last week. From a single stream, by the way. Single stream, $63,000 in super chat. People say that sometimes to show that they don't think there's opinion or a fact or whatever. Oh, I love when people end their opinion with, that's just my opinion. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's just being courteous. Some people are dumb and they don't realize what they're listening to is an opinion. Problem is, always the bombkin can't help but press starfall. It's impossible to convince DPS. Oh, that's true, actually. You're probably right. You can pay to have more subs. Doesn't mean you get more engagement. True, <laughs> I suppose. Engages with Hawk outside gaming, too, like baseball. Oh, yeah, I love, I love sports, too. So. Crypto's nice, but not necessary. Yeah, I agree. Obviously. I was mythic progress going. We did well last week, actually. Yeah, on a we had some good progress last week. We'll see tonight and tomorrow. I feel like I'm always getting low damage DPS when I'm tanking, trying to get my Keystone Master. But when I'm DPS, other DPS are fine, and tanks either being too slow or greedy. Yeah, yeah. This happens all the time, right? I learned how to capture both Stoneborn at the same time here. What's the trick? You just stand in the center or something? Hope DPS focus orbs in the next room. Me too. I can get a lot of them myself. So not a big deal if they slack. Failed Theater 15 because the healing tank got stuck in the portal of the last boss, which I've never seen anyone do before. Got stuck. What the fuck? Speaking of sports, just ordered a new driver. Hope to test it out this weekend. Oh, so nice. what'd you get? Uh, you can just aggro them both and click on the extra button like crazy. Isn't that the start? Maybe. Can you line of sight the orbs? Behind the wall at the end. Uh, I don't think it is actually line of sight that wall for some reason. Did 
do have a pretty good comp for it though. Fucking Shaman is insanely good at it. Shaman is definitely the best now that they got Frost Shock returned. Something stupid but cool. Got a Homa Barris three star. Okay. Never heard of it, but that's good. I don't think uh, investing five hundred dollars in a driver is always it's always worth it. I'm glad I bought mine used, but that was still a lot of fucking money. Probably like the most oversold product on the planet in sports, honestly. Off is such like a mental game that it's convinces a lot of people, and my, myself included, that's why ultimately I bought it. That like they need like the best tech to be able to succeed, but you really don't. Your stream keeps me company on quiet days like this. Thanks, Metro. My pleasure. Thanks for hanging out. You keep me company as well. That's why I like streaming. Social interaction is nice. I also got my news. What the hell? A $1,000 driver. Okay. I was just gonna uh, bring up Frost Shock for Resto. Yeah, they're excellent. I've seen the mini boss teleport to second boss location in a run before. <laughs> what the hell? Whack a mole game at the end here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. I like. I really like explosive. Honestly, I'll tell you what. I just have a Strata complete set and it perfectly supports my 10 over par average. Nice. Yep. It matches my Justin Rose Proto Iron set from 2019. Oh god, what is this? Do you ever try to zerg this guy? No, never. We did it once and it was a complete fucking failure. He ended up expanding over it, so never worth it. I don't think it's ever worth it. I don't. I don't even think it's faster, honestly. I mean, right there, obviously, would have been faster, but <laughs> usually it dies so fucking quick that it's not a problem. How come the Rogan Monk is that close to your DPS? Yeah, good question. These guys are like not even far. I mean, they're not really good for these keys. Doesn't look like it's gonna be on time. Yeah, like over two minutes of this fight is usually plenty, but maybe this DPS is low. I don't know. All of our shit here to make sure we get as much out of it as we can. All right, two and a half minutes. Slightly under that. Of your boorish presence. It seems gone, Plus, I am uh, like full DPS effectively this week. So. You are beneath my contempt. His Tyrannical boss is usually three minutes, not one with Lust and Frightful. Boss is usually about two and a half minutes on Tyrannical, so we'll see how it goes. Theo, welcome back to the Blood Pool. Boss at 50 uh, Metro, minute. what do you Already think is the best it. healer for Mythic, Mythic Plus? Plus? Uh, uh, Blood Death Knight. Death Knight. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Welcome back to you. Big pump time. That's correct, yeah. Ooh, this monk has the Sun King trinket, lol. All right. What does that mean? Three K. Pretty easy. I'm really enjoying my bloody can tanking more than I thought I would. Uh, it's a fucking such a fun spec. I keep missing the AMS. Not great. Oh my God. Where did the monk cheat? Oh yeah, I see. It's on the. I, it's on his thing. Oh my God, this guy's actually fucking garbage. He's been hit by that three times now. Pretty embarrassing. You have no 
Yeah, that's gonna be the key right there, honestly. Walked right into that. But then I suppose failure comes naturally to your kind. Your pride is worthless. Well, we got a key done at least. It's fine by me. Shadowland sucks. Classic is better. Incorrect. Hella close. Yep. We got to get killed by the statue. If we didn't get hit by the statue every time it picked him, we probably would have upgraded that. Type my guild are going to do Shadowlands Generals for the first time on Heroic. I'm looking forward to goal repairs. Oh, that's yeah, Heroic. Should be easy. Damn, so close. I do enjoy keys that come down to the wire, though. It makes it feel like a bottom a bottom of the ninth. Oh, yeah, bottom of the ninth. Good one. I get it. Okay, let's take a look at this trinket real quick. 12 seconds late. Four deaths would have beat it. Yep. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, well, it did about the same as Blood Barrier, so I guess that's pretty good considering what we're talking about. It's not terrible. And it did a lot of healing too. Let's see. Did not beat Blood Barrier on healing though. So not even, it's not even close actually. Alright. I don't think this trinket's very good. It's okay though. I mean it is 226 and it has Leech on it. So it's a good pick. It's a good pick for a week like this. That's for sure. But that is not. Not a great trinket overall. I feel like I'd gain more from the Stone Legion trinket. But it is hard to say how much leech I gained from it. Not much, but it's some. Some. That monk's single target was bad. Yeah, you're right. Not chesting a key is, with four deaths is still a wowzers. Gotcha. Uh, don't you have two separate breakdowns on the trinket damage-wise? Do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, what the hell? Why is that? I didn't even notice that. Why is that? Okay, so it did a lot of damage, actually. Let's add it up. 151 plus 90. 241k, that's a lot. So that would have been right above, right, it would be right here, basically. It would be close to, not that close, but somewhat close to the burrs. That's interesting. What other leech do you have other than that trinket? Oh, the big one is Lichborn. But also, uh, of course, uh, Voracious. 15% leech every time I death strike, and then 10% leech every two minutes. So. <laughs> All right, let's get that on the sheet. We finished the key, though. Good start. Uh... Falls. 18 completion. No, yeah, so yeah, I don't know, this group looks pretty good, I guess. Not really sure what the problem was. Just some. The druid being dead at the wrong times really fucked us. Shaman. Alright, that one's in the sheet. I forgot it was tyrannical. I managed to soak a whole thing of Comet Storm with my AMS. Only at 7. Oh, yeah. A lot of damage, though. AMS is probably a bigger deal than you think, though, because it prevents the debuff from being applied as well. Yep, not a lot of keys. Alright, we'll do either of these is fine. I failed the time 18 halls last week because the healer overall damage was 300 instead of 1k. Gotcha. Unfortunate. Definitely uh, sucks when it comes down to that close and you fail it, but. What is your quarry? Uh, presumably, we'll be getting invited to that, so. My heart Let's at least head to Oribos while we wait to see which one.
Uh, I've gotten a lot of avoidance pieces this expansion. Oh wow, 12% avoidance, jeez. Anyway, I'm new to Mythic Keystones. How do you get the gear before even trying to do one? How do you get the gear? Well, you can do other content that's not Keystones to get gear first, right? Scales is really nice to have. You mean, oh yeah, Blood's better scale. Yeah, obviously. Crazy good. Uh, we failed the timer by 10 seconds, so, wow, crazy. Anyone else feel like they are getting more gear with a third effect at the moment? Mm, I guess I've gotten a fair amount, but no, I don't feel like, I don't feel like that's happening more often than not. I think they probably should increase that, though, now that there's no Titan forging. Greg, no problem, sorry. Pretty obvious answer, I feel like, but, yeah, I mean, just do anything else that gives gear. Like zeros, or I mean, even just low keys. You don't really need a lot of gear to do keys that are super low. That wouldn't be that. I, that's another thing I definitely want to do on that rogue. What do you guys think? Like a mythic two on a character with no gear, with no uh, no spec. I want to get my own key though. I want to do it um, and see what people say if people say anything. But yeah, the problem is I'm not gonna have any fucking AOE at all. Like the spec has no AOE. Although to be fair, I don't know. <laughs> rogue doesn't have that much AOE anyway, so. Maybe people won't notice as much, but yeah, like I actually don't have a spell that does damage to more than one target. Rogue has a has consistent AOE. You don't bring a rogue for burst. Yeah, my point was that uh, people don't expect fire mage damage. Like if I came on a no spec mage, it would be pretty noticeable, right? But a rogue isn't ever gonna be like that crazy number on the chart there. So. Where is it again? Yeah, hold on. They should increase the timer. I feel like the timer is way too tight for those dungeons compared to the others. Okay, well they can't keep just increasing a timer for every new dungeon in a few months. It's like you wanted the timers increased for every single dungeon it feels like at some point. Can't increase them all. Although I would not mind a kind of blanket increase, like add like five or more minutes to every single key and make it about like not wiping more than doing everything as fast as possible. I think that would be more interesting. I've had so many mages and boomies int my keys because they just don't know how to use their CDs. Now imagine if you brought one that had no spec. It'd be even worse. Fire mages are way too weak right now, I got you. Alright. <coughs> yeah, the allergies are deepening in. I'm gonna step away real quick. <coughs> Let's fly out and uh fly out and be right back. How may I serve? Pause, yeah. Trust. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay. Yeah. Someone said Fire Rage is our way to keep us play with trash players. Yeah, sadly, <laughs> every Fire Rage I play with is trash, pretty much. Uh, but anyway, um, keys like halls, you can do zero mistakes, do decently big pulls, and still Some fail time to time the timer. When you do a plague fall, at the same time, you got like seven minutes left. Gotcha. Alright, anyway, so is there anything we can do while we wait? Anything going on in the zone? I go get those herbs. It's pretty useful. Wait, what is this? Oh. Supplies delivered? How does this work? I'm not sure I've ever done this. Deploy a stone feed supplier to land at the location below. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, what? That you may what? How does this work? You have to fly over it. Uh, okay, that's close enough, I guess. I don't feel like I'm even online with it. Like I'm slightly to the left of it. Fucking Christ. Okay, <laughs> some of these world quests are just not well made. So you want to be like directly over it, basically. Hi, do you usually use the same routes in Tyrannical and Fortified? Depends on the dungeon. There's a couple we have uh, separate routes for, but a couple we don't. Drop it when directly over a heap. You can spam it when you are over it. Oh, really? I didn't recognize that. Wait, no, you can't. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's a CD on it. I guess you're saying, like, do it early and then do it late? I don't think that would work. It's going to take that little time. Anyway. Oh, I see it. Somehow, that's very interesting. I got, like, two to spawn there. Oh, I see. Wow, that's interesting. How about that? It's, like, bugged. Huh, I thought you meant like there was no CD on it. That's interesting. Some good tips. <laughs> Never do these world quests in the sound for some reason. Okay, let's go get the herbs. Fire mage damage overall is pretty high, maybe even top, but outside of combust, I feel like I might as well be AFK with that CD's mage. Does basically nothing here. And that's a bigger problem than it sounds like in pugs because you're not going to be able to coordinate that, you know, pull to pull. So uh, the problem is not, not just fire mage, but it's like a lot of classes are like this. And uh, when you bring three of them to your key, it really fucks things up. Like you, you have some packs that just take forever. And then what happens is it's, it's a bigger deal than it sounds like it too, because what happens when this pack is taking so long and CDs are coming back up, people are like, well, I'm not using them now. So now they're all going to save their CDs for the next pack. And then if they used them all there, then that's terrible. You know, like it's just, it gets really out of control quickly with CDs lining up that way. So let's see if you need a DPS when I'm out of Torghast in 15 minutes. Hopefully not. Uh, when you get to high keys, packs will last one or two minutes. That's where Fire Mage really shines. I'm sure, yeah. But sadly, uh, still not really going to work out very well on pugs. Uh, anyway, on. Uh, luckily, Night Fay keeps combustion available for most of the pulls. Really? That's not what I'm seeing. Where's this hurt? That's for the further donation, though. The brokers have secured a cache of Two bucks. curious weapons from other I see so many balance druids just holding back. Yeah, I think actually balance druid is the worst. Like mage or whatever, but balance druid is actually the worst for it right now. They don't have any CD, CDR, so. So that's what I'm saying. You got a fire mage, a balance druid, and a hunter, maybe. I don't know what other, maybe 
Maybe Hunter's not that bad for it. I don't know, but... It's got three dudes doing... I, I've been calling it the 3K club, where they're not breaking 3K on packs. And it's because they're sitting there holding CDs. And when you got three people doing that, it's like, oh boy. Suboptimal. So then that pack's going to take so long that CDs are going to be coming back up during it. And nobody's going to want to use it in the middle of that pack. So instead, they're all going to save it for the next pack. And then they're going to just get in this cycle of bad CD usage for the whole dungeon. Where they're probably missing like 30% of their usage, you know? So, really. It's a big problem. Have you seen the more walkers? I'm right here. Now <laughs> you dry. See you later. This is a weird area. I don't understand why they're fighting each other. It's gonna aggro a bunch of shit for world content down on ideal. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, do that. Well, that was a waste of time. I want a surprise. Spires would be pretty good this week. Two different spires. I mean, we still haven't finished this world quest, so let's, let's wrap this up. Oh, it's gonna phase away. No? Okay, good. Did he give up? Yeah, I guess so. The hunt must go on. Watch the shadow. What's the fixes this week? Let's go. Uh, they are tyrannical raging explosive. It's weird. I still have this vagary of a inkling to like tell you more about the seasonal fix as well. In uh, season three of BFA, there was also variability with the seasonal fix. And I guess it was like that in season four as well. So I always mention that too. Whenever anybody asks about the affixes, I'd be like, uh, it's a um, yeah, tyrannical raging explosive and it is the tides emissary week. <laughs> I don't know how like two years later, I'm still thinking that I should be saying more about that. Very odd. Old habits, I suppose. Fathom Dweller World Quest. Yeah, you know, why is it up so infrequently? Where 
Where is it again? Oh yeah, I have a jar. Wait, it's not up. Well, I guess I have it already, so it just doesn't appear. Uh, don't know. That's where it is, right? Or maybe I have to go there to see it. What the hell? Angels fan throws throw trash and recycling bins on fields to troll troll Astros. When the hell did that happen? <laughs> How the hell did they Oh they're blow up? What the fuck? Wait, that's not a real It's not a real <laughs> bin what the Yeah, that's a fucking blow up. What oh that's how he got it in the stadium, then he fucking blew it up while they were playing the game. It's pretty interesting. Some angels guy comes, runs, and picks it up. That's funny. I'm in the middle of that two vase at bad too. Oh, that one's an actual one. How? How did? How did some? How does a? Is there nobody out there in the outfield stopping them from picking up the garbage can and throwing it over the fence? Like what the fuck? How does that actually happen? Okay, anyway. They're probably, like, they were probably, whoever was out there was like, yeah, I'll turn the other way here to make sure. Feel bad for the Angels, man. I don't know. They're just never going to have a good team, it feels like. They always have a solid team, but never good enough. The Red Sox, they had a... 0-3 start to the Orioles, which is odd, but what about yesterday? And they won. It's like... Metro Boomin wants some more. More what? More keys finished? Yes, please. It's not the dungeon. I always go to the Temple of Humility. For some reason. Okay, we're finally ready to go. Oh, we're not. That guy's just gonna run inside. Cool. Okay, he's returning. Hey, Colin, what's up, buddy? How's it going? It's going good. It's going all right. Okay, everybody is now here. So what did everybody do for Easter? Anything? Anybody? Do anything special? One year ago, I remember the big talking point a year ago was like, 
we will get this under control so you could have a Easter, you know what I mean? So Easter in the churches and everything like that. It's like, and a year later, we're still arguing about it. It's crazy. Just ate some Easter food by myself? Oh, yeah. That makes it sound depressing, but... Just family time and watch Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, how was it? Yeah, I was hoping to watch that, but I forgot all about it. Didn't have any time anyway, really. Just not enough hours in the day anymore. And how those meetings are going for Sai. I do like how they changed it so it goes around the thing. It's like more smooth, <laughs> the circle. It's pretty nice. It still looks like shit. <clears throat> I want to have it for third boss now. Uh, interesting, different speed compared to the previous movies. Like the first two Godzillas in Skull Island, everything was faster. Oh, yeah. How long is the film? The weirdest thing about that is... Um, Falls of Atonement as well. We I did some really aggressive pulling, kind of by accident. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck did we not upgrade that? It's crazy. Didn't feel like huge titans to me, like the other ones. Oh yeah, the movie length is two hours. I see. Okay, let's get to it. Got all this we shit here. We are vastly outnumbered mortals. The Forsworn have cut a swath through most of our forces. Vanquish their rear guard while I confront Devos. Go in service. <laughs> Blocks of one shots the healer. I wasn't even the healer. <laughs> oh, this guy's Destro as well, interesting. Speaking of, if anybody out there is looking for a raiding guild, let me know. We are looking to add another DPS Tuesday, Wednesday, 7 Eastern to 11 Eastern. Looking to get another ranged DPS in. ASAP. I keep forgetting to bring it up. I have a strong dislike for Spires, and I'm not even sure why. Oh, yeah. I don't dislike the dungeon. Uh, I don't know. It isn't my favorite dungeon. It's like the trash is kind of pain in the ass at times. Italy. Rating tonight? That's correct, yeah. Hopefully. Tuesday, Wednesday, 7 Eastern, 2 11 Eastern. Uh, 
All right, let's get going. You were the paragon of Is that guy eating or something? What's he doing? And yet all this time, it was you who led the Forsworn. Your blind adherence to the path would have doomed us all. You left me no choice but to oppose you. Forsworn, see that the mortals What's this guy do doing? not interfere. Okay, he's here now. It just doesn't show up on the map, I guess, when he's running. You cannot hide. I love to raid, but I'm melee. And my eye level is only 215. Yeah. Definitely gotta be people with more gear than that. Unfortunately. Why do people drop like flies here? Nobody interrupted the cast. I'm slowly picking up pieces from the vault though, so that's good. That is good, yep. Can you die here? Alright, another great waste of time. Add that one real quick. Spires, 18. Done with Torghast, <laughs> done with the key. Uh, disband. Druid, another bad one for Resto Druid. They're really gonna look bad at the end of the season, I think, honestly. It's like, I feel like every time we do a Resto Druid, it's always a disband. Mage and Warlock. And get to see the demo or the Destro Warlock. I got the device. Device. Uh, it's my fault though. Ignored Mythic Plus pretty much up until now. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the good thing. If you just did a couple keys a week, you'd have be like well over 220 by now. Oh, a couple 19s theater. Sanguine, I can't even imagine, but we'll try it. If we can get it, can't get in one of those. Uh, is the quantum device even good for blood? Seems like a weird trinket to drop for blood. What's that? The IQD thing, right? No, it's, can't imagine. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd ever use it. Give it a few minutes. Usually if we don't get invited immediately, though, it's not going to happen.
This guy hasn't invited anyone yet, though, so... Might just be AFK. Wouldn't mind doing a Sanguine regardless of uh, the key level just to see how it goes this week. So just hang out here. I don't know. Not really anything else to do while we wait. Oh yeah. Okay. So we should go get. Let's go get the souls from the maw. It should you be quick. I'll watch you. Did you get a warrior yet? We have. A, we've had a warrior for a very long time. Signs in the group. That's good. Now we can do the skip. Just need to remember three packs on this side. What's the number? It's a weird number, isn't it? Something. 60, is it 69? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's why. So we're 69. Okay, we need to make, make sure we get to 69. So. Uh, what kind of legendary you use for Blood Decay and Mythic? I've uh, been using uh, Crimson Rune ever since they buffed it. Seems like an incredibly good pick. You are welcome here. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna go to the mall. That's right. It's kind of a pain in the ass to go to the mall without Wraith Rock, but I don't want to switch my talents just for this. <clears throat> did you complete? Yeah, that's the only dungeon we've completed so far. Uh, we did not upgrade it, though. We should have, I feel like. I don't know. We had very few mistakes made there. I'm not sure why that wasn't an upgrade. I don't know. famous quest that caused, caused all the controversy. Definitely much slower without Wraithlock. <laughs> Ooh, a 
rat power. I have B rats as well. Look at that guy's coming ready to play. Take that dude. I gotta have respect for people playing the rat power, right? At least I feel like you do, I don't know. Maybe others disagree. What the fuck? Apply blood boil, get threat. I should work like that in keys. I really like this concept though. Of like these bonus objectives being up like in the way they are. I think this is a really good concept for world content. I hope they'll continue with it moving forward. I don't necessarily like the maw just because of the setting it's in, unfortunately, is the thing I like the least about it. But it's a very, very good idea. Quite a fan of it. I play Arms, Rhett, Rest of Shaman 3s, and it's some of the most fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rhett is really good in PvP. I was talking more in PvE. So, like, kind of just like. They're lacking a purpose right now, I think. not particularly good at any one thing, so it's very unlikely to see a good one. Struck for people who play a non-meta class and play it well, yeah. even Not even just non-meta, but like things that are actually not great, like... I think Rhett is in that boat right now, sadly. <laughs> Have you used the, the potion that makes every zone look like a night setting? Oh god, yeah. Oh, I haven't actually used it in the mall, let's see. Inky Blacks are my best friend. I used to use them all the time. Oh. That's interesting. The skybox is still dominating the zone, though, so it's hard to see the difference, but... It's actually kind of good. Yeah. Wow, that's actually quite good. It's mostly because of the lighting on the ground, honestly. Ah, that, that does look kind of cool. Inky Black is so fucking awesome. I mean, I just did a playthrough of uh, Duskwood with the Inky Black on, so I guess you didn't see that. You're asking that question. Okay, what's going on with these ghosts? Let's get going here. Takes forever. Yeah, like, let's put it this way, if if it was set in, like, a Timeless Isle setting, or even, like, an Isle of Thunder setting, I just don't like the, the aesthetics of the zone, like, not pleasing to me. This would be such a great zone for me. This takes forever, man. I'll tell you what. I don't know. I think they changed it at some point. It used to literally come. I guess it used to be requiring way less souls, too. But it used to come here in five minutes and get it all and be done. Also gives you, like, your half of a bar for uh, Eye of the Jailer now. down. Looks like there's one down here. I 
Have you updated your player profile? I tried using yours from your video you made about add-ons. It doesn't look like yours. Are you using the uh, texture pack too? You need the texture pack. I mean, it, it, it should. I haven't. I haven't changed anything now. The only difference would be the texture on the bar. Everything else would look the same. Let's say something did something wrong with the export. This is the worst thing about this zone, honestly, is that in order to see the health bar of the thing you're targeting, most of the time you have to fuck with your camera. Oh my god, just him my people. Oh, we know, I know that guy. He was okay. We played a lot with him in the beginning of the season. How is that guy not qualified, right? All right, well, let's go turn that quest in. Should give anima towards the other quest now too, right? 500 anima, that's a lot. One way or the other, it'll be done with raid. Yeah, it does. Wow, okay. Well, that's quick. Cornucopia of the Winter Court. I'd say we can go do the world boss, but we will probably go do it just because there'll be people there doing it. I don't need to be in the group for it. Alright, Inky Black. I love it, but not all the time. Aronamonus. Aronamonus. Are we fucking weird ass name? That will be the end of the quest as well. Well, by now, hopefully we're going to start inviting people. Where do we strike? He's not Vance here. Oh, man, I don't know. It's just such a pain in the ass to do keys anymore, man. It's insane. What is your quarry? Strike two. Uh, you can solo that. Just takes more time. What are we soloing? 
The Mythic Plus? Yeah, you're right. It'd probably be more interesting. Uh, do you get anything for doing keys above 15? Uh, you get a few things, yeah, but... There's a variety of things that you get. They released the Augusta Times a few times. Not going to get to watch any of this, unfortunately. A betting man should include Justin Spieth in there. Or Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Spieth in his betting because i think that dude is he's the hottest golfer on the planet. i've never seen a golfer hot either it's kind of weird it's a good group though colin morikawa jordan spieth oh tony fino louis ustazen and justin thomas What's your priority status? What does that mean? Or stat? I assume you're talking about stats? Blood DK, you kind of just go for item level. The hot golfer, yeah, it's crazy he's on fire right now. I don't know when the last time he didn't make a start this in a weekend either. I swear I've watched golf every weekend over the last few months to some degree, and it's always, he's always playing, it's crazy. Status alive. Rookie Fowler, Green Jacket incoming. <laughs> wait, is he even wait, is he even in the tournament? Was that a joke? Maybe it was a joke. No, he's not. <laughs> you failed to qualify, right? Okay, that's an annoying noise. Yeah, he failed to qualify. I don't understand. He came in 17th last week? Is that what this says? I don't understand how that, like, what do you actually have to do to qualify? You have to win an event or be in the top 50 in the money list, right? How is that gluttonous spike trinket? Uh, it's okay. We've only finished one dungeon with it on. But, uh, it's okay. It does a good amount of damage. It does more damage than I... I I'm a little confused on it, I guess, but... It seems like it does more... It, I guess it's gonna depend. Like, sometimes it's gonna do more healing, sometimes it's gonna do more damage, basically, but... Yeah, as of right now, it's the one dungeon we did seems to be airing on the damage side, so...
I, I, I don't know, man. Why is it taking so long to form this group? I have no idea, man. I, I'm, I'm, it's like really getting hard to, to do keys anymore. I just, I'm so sick of fucking sitting here and waiting 30 minutes for every dungeon that's just gonna disband five minutes in. But at least we're finally filled. Apparently we got a knife, or a, uh... Oh, he's knife. Thought we were looking for a vent there, but whatever. Oh, a warrior. Yeah, the span in five minutes. Yep. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a uh, a skip there. If we could shroud that pack, that'd be great. Gonna rip threat with the spinny moves. <laughs> Is that an assassination rogue? Yeah, that's Daniel there in the chat. It's playing the rogue named Sign. Assassination, indeed. Trying that out in five minutes, I guess. Okay, let's see how it goes. Seat up. So with Tiger now playing this here, does that mean they have another person instead? Or how I don't even know how that works. Do you fill the field every year or is it just this is all we invite no matter what? Waits twenty minutes to fill, group finally ready. <laughs> yep. It's hilarious. Okay, anyway, here we go. Ready to rock, finally. Better than the last group, at least. <laughs> we started the key on, to, on the, the countdown. Okay, good first pack. Oh, well, I guess BM as well. <laughs> How are they looking in keys now? Amazon on the come up again. Very competitive. Nice. Well, that's good at least.
dismiss the pet. I think this is why we failed this skip last time we did this. Probably just Stroud, though. Oh, this fucking trinket as well, Jesus. The large one must be the alpha. Slay it, and the yeah, others trinkets. scatter. I have to pay attention to that. Explosives in this dungeon, though, I don't think will be too bad. Maybe the third add on, or the third dungeon. Anyway, you can get add on called the Killy that will tell you when your CDs are up and the best time to use them. Why are we talking about that? Jesus. Don't know how I survived there. Kelly is crashed with a lot of H's, oh wow. Not bad, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure why we brought that up. It's an honor for people who don't know how to play their class. It's a crutch. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't say that necessarily, but yeah, it's not an add on that. I I'd imagine it just doesn't work very well. Like, it's not going to be able to actually tell you information that's going to help you in serious content. I'm sure it's great for alts and stuff, but it can help you learn how then you don't need it. Yeah, that's a, it's a good add on. I, like, in the past, before Mythic Plus and stuff, I would have always said, uh, use a rotation helper if you can. No reason not to use one. But now, Mythic Plus, it's like, it's gonna basically break, you know what I mean? Like, you never, you're not just gonna use your CDs on CD in Mythic Plus at times, so. It's just gonna be telling you to use something that you, you know you don't wanna use. You shouldn't need a reminder when your CDs are up, though. That's what weak orders and stuff are for. It's decent if you want to pick up a class, but it can't tell you when CDs are optimal. Yeah, that's my point, yeah. Beware. It's really only for the rotation, which would only be useful for the first few days of learning a spec, basically. I guess it, if you can turn off the CD part, maybe that would, that would be good. Tells me when to pop my defensives? Really? How does that work? Again, the interrupt is just something that you should be tracking with a weak aura, though. Beware. Pog, Tyrannical, Sangmi Deaths. This will be fun. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Yeah, very long time to die, I feel like. Maybe this is normal. You can completely customize it with what spells you want. Oh, that's cool. That's a good thing, at least. Okay. Our 
target lies deep within the prison. Let none stand in your way. Been having a lot of trouble with this pull recently. I don't know why, but got two 15 times on my guardian. Alt one of them, angry depths, 7:30 to spare. Yeah, it's a very uh, lenient timer usually. The warrior is an animal. I think. I haven't noticed anything impressive. I'd hope so, because that's all he's doing is damage. I always have a harder time with the second boss here. Yeah, the bosses are all difficult, really. That's the problem. You got four difficult bosses, really. how few people line a site that I don't I guess people just literally don't know about it or they don't do it okay so skip here drop this fucking trinket I mean, all DPS in this group is benefiting from BS. Give him some credit. Oh yeah, bad out right? It's true. Uh, San Diego is quite hard on Tyrannical. Yeah, it's definitely the hardest dungeon this week, I'd imagine. Uh, and on port, the trash before the gauntlet with the gargoyle and the chain guy. What's this thing, right? No, I think you mean later in the dungeon. I died, what the fuck? Uh, 
He onked, okay. Your kind Unlook her. So it's so to Light. The two pulls after third boss on fort and second boss on tyrannical are where I usually see groups get flattened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really done this dungeon a lot, to be fair. Probably the dungeon I've done the least. I think it definitely is the dungeon I've done the least. We got all the stats collected on the spreadsheet there, so I guess there's no reason to guess. But I think it is, if I remember correctly. This has worked out really well, though. People keep dying, I don't know. To what? Can't wait to see what happens with these, this character situation, like, I think it's a pretty big deal here and we're not really getting any, uh, haven't gotten any insight into it in the first season at least. Okay, pride next, then boss. Okay, pull this up here more. A little early to use the AMZ, but I want to make sure we get it going because we'll need it for the boss too. This is going to be a big moment in this dungeon right now. If we kill this boss, I think we upgrade this key. Oh, what the hell was that? That was not what you want to do. Let's get start. Sign getting the first mechanic. Very good. You can get rid of it. Get rid of it. Uh, the entire group got hit there. That's actually, yeah, probably my fault. It's way too close to the intersection. Not sure we're gonna actually have a backup for the boss, unfortunately. I think we got it now. Good week for Tombstone. Oh, you know what? I tell you what, I forgot all about Tombstone. It's been such a crazy last few weeks that I've just forgotten all about Tombstone. I haven't tried it in weeks. I don't I think it's too late now for me to get back into it, but... Okay, we uh, finished that 
successfully so I think that's the key upgraded right there okay we need three pulls here if I remember correctly is Pat or something I don't actually remember what happens here 69% is what we need though yeah there's a Pat okay So I guess hopefully this gargoyle doesn't come on. I don't actually know how that works. Cool. You're doing so fucking good. Good luck on the loot. <laughs> I don't need any loot, but yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh... Okay. A lot of mobs. literally so far away that I can't even grip it. I don't understand how that's possible. Alright, probably shouldn't have pulled all that, huh? Good idea to let the tank be the one who pulls stuff. Yeah, we just spawned back here anyway, so it wasn't even a problem. There's like two mobs left total. Three, it looks like. Of course, the mob. Oh no, that's actually fun. most of the mob seems to like nothing there. We kill like the big guys, I guess. That was it. Raging is still a big problem at times. This is some big dust strikes for fucking fortified or not fortified week. Alright, that's good. 68.96, that's probably good. I'm pretty sure, because I don't think we missed anything. Don't know what we would have missed. That was. I went to interrupt that mob and it had been disrupted by something else. the dungeon coming up but really this boss should be easier than the second one i don't know i think mechanically it's much much easier but it is very difficult numerically a lot of people have problems with it because of that the problem is that 80 percent pride spawning on that really dangerous triple pack oh yeah all right let's see how dare you interrupt my research? My patience. probably said it before, but what is your mythic plus timer percentage add-on on the right of your UI? Uh, I'm, I'm using an add-on called Angry Keystones, which is apparently impacting that in some way, but otherwise I'm not using any add-on for that. Beware. The only thing that it's doing is putting those green numbers on the bar, I think. Nothing to do with percentages. Maybe you mean percentages of the timer, I guess? 
Oh, actually, uh, yeah, it might actually be changing something else too, I guess, but I'm unaware of what, so, Angry Keystones. My patience is wearing thin. A very popular add-on back in Legion, but I guess a lot of people don't know about it now. You don't want pride for third boss? Uh, no, I guess not. Lucid Keystone is good too. That's an add-on. My patience is wearing thin. Going pretty good though. It was like a, a successful run in a long time. Weird comp as well. He's feeling pretty powerful right now too, man. I'll tell you what. So much. That ten percent damage reduction last week, or whatever. Pretty good. Quickly, mortals, escape with Sorali. What eye level is sign? I don't know. This is the prize. I'm sure he'll know. And they fix this for him. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about this what you were talking about. I forgot they changed this too. Keep them all even. Won't happen, I'm sure. Get a lot of fucking help. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Well, it's not really an option, unfortunately. There's nothing else you can do, I mean, unless you want to be overcount. I guess get one more pull upstairs so you don't have this happen and then just be overcount later. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know how I was circumventing this before. So what, we needed one more pack upstairs, I guess. I have to take another look at this. You missed a guy, a guy in cage. This is the worst pack of the dungeon, correct? Look, people skip this, I see. Shroud skip? Yeah, I mean, I guess if we're already relying on a shroud, earlier in the dungeon, we should have no problem doing it here either. Maybe we should change the run around. 
Yeah, they don't, that doesn't work anymore. You can't split pull it anymore. I mean, I know what I need for this route, but yeah. That's a problem there, so I'll have to figure that out. Uh, you need 70%. Yeah, we just need one extra ma mob somewhere. Right, sex didn't reset, correct. Happens all the time, I don't know how. It still happens, honestly, all these months later. Mob just doesn't drop combat for some reason. Oh, the gargoyle. Ah, uh, that's probably it, actually. Forgot about that. Uh, I change my route to go right instead of left in the circle and pull other packs. Oh god. What are we doing that? Yeah, I just gotta find one more extra mob there, basically. Even if we had to be overcount, it would make it a lot smoother. Yeah, I don't know. I could I would just try skipping that pack. I don't know. But then you get pride in the middle of the gauntlet. That doesn't seem any better, so yeah. Well, actually, no. If you skip that pack, you would need way more count than elsewhere. Each side of the circle has two gargoyles, but its spawn location is random, yeah. I knew that part, I just didn't know that... I didn't remember relying on that. I don't remember that part, actually. So I'll, have to, I'll have to have another look at it. Guess we used to just let that split pull occur, and then that was fine. Interesting. I would not rely on the gargoyle spawns. They could be at the wrong location and screw you over. Well, it's just one mob. It doesn't matter. Regardless of the location. We have two routes for that center ring since Demon Hunter can see where the gargs are. Oh, really? That's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Spectral Sight allows you to see which one is the real one. This is What's that saying? We heal is based on HP. It only healed Kale for 1% per tick, while healing every other mob for 5%. Kale or Call? I don't know. Unsure. That is how it's supposed to work. Maybe they put in some protection for that so we don't have the fucking boss heal the full every 10 seconds. Uh, hey, Jix, I was watching your early part of your stream. Uh, I don't know if you realize this yet, but the new trinket has two damage instances. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Somebody told me that, actually. I did not know that. Really 
at how good it does in this dungeon as well. Astral Projection Totem. Wow, you don't see that a lot. Ever. See that ever? Okay, so apparently you could stun these mobs casting. Okay. Probably could have stopped both of them if I was ready for it. Looks they do it once and that's it, huh? Interesting. Did not know that was a thing. Oh, they're doing it again. Okay, so not quite, <laughs> not quite the tip I thought it was, but still a very good thing to know. They got a thirty. Yeah, I see. Well, that's nice. We might be too close to that pack and it was gonna aggro when we came out there. Never done this, so hopefully there's no way to aggro that through the wall or something. How much burst do you have? Uh, not as much as I used to when I was using a different trinket, but yeah, apparently 19%. Without food buff as well. Well, like I barely got in that. Just dead. Two stacks left. Bleed. Yeah, this is gonna be a really long fight without pride. Sixty-two percent already. Oh, only. I mean, holy fuck. Be like a five minute fight, holy fuck. One more battle res, it looks like it's about to go on the shaman. Yeah, oh, see the dog draw moving there. I was wondering. People are dead. Many people are dead. Uh, all people are dead, okay. Get the healer up and finish this. Yeah, certainly not a, not a well executed fight. It's gonna be a downgrade regardless now, it looks like. It's 
a really long fight without Pride. finished over here this it just means we're gonna get the bleed every time probably for the best if I got the bleed from the beginning we probably would have been around you can avoid that bleed from the boss I know maybe not there's a lot of damage it's gonna literally take probably five more minutes to finish this one. I'm seeing those dogs moving around, and I keep thinking something's up, but back to Metro Solo, this one will not be solo. But then I suppose failure comes naturally to your kind. Well, it didn't help us unfortunately, so. Maybe in your perfect world it would have, but I think we should have gotten Pride here for sure. If only because this guy's been struggling with mana the whole dungeon. On the bright side, we'll have a new battle rest soon. And I guess who has the most deaths? Warrior has nine, yeah. Uh, yo, I used to watch all your videos every day, and you made really good videos on overcoming adversity. I was super mediocre in BFA at Mythic Plus, but he encouraged me, and I'm now 2400. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Great story there. Oh, my bad, the boss. The mom's back. Is there no release? Shami died a ton. No, he did not. Five deaths for him, seven for Sign, nine for Warrior. Pretty much uh, multiple full wipes, I think, right? So. Damn, and the stream has gone on without me. <laughs> What's up, man? Glad to see ya. It's kind of miraculous though that we can have two full wipes before the last boss and still have a chance. Have to have a look after this. We have to have a look at bro changes. Someone said that bleed was avoidable. If you like. It like runs through you, so if you don't let it run through you, it won't hit you. So you could like, uh, you know, do something like a blink or something like that to avoid it. Or you could always just immune it off too, obviously. I've never successfully done it without some kind of speed thing though, but if you have, then that's... Those bats on the side are freaking me out. Oh yeah, look at all those bats. What the fuck? It's <laughs> weird. All right, let's take a look at the route. Figure out what we can change there. It charges your location, not to you. So if you're running, you dodge it. Yeah, I've tried that and it's never worked. I've only ever successfully done it with like a blink or a disengage of some sort. All right, let's have a look here. Well, first let's add this to the sheet before I somehow forget. Hey, what's up, guys? You're looking extra wavy and gravy. Yeah, took a shower this morning. So here's 
particularly clean. Uh, okay, so that was Sanguine 18, another completion at least. Shaman, Hunter, Rogue, Warrior. At least we finished it. The delay on the two person hit is bigger. Oh, I see, the second one, gotcha. I always hated the old Lich King gargoyles, especially the quest where you had to fly you around in Zoldrak. Oh yeah. I was loving blood last week. Oh yeah. Glad to hear that. Should have gone Sin Rogue. Oh, I thought you were. Uh, anyway, um, so let's take a look at this. Isn't Blood Drinker good for Tyrannical Weeks? No. A drink is never going to be good unless you don't care about your death strike usage as much. Yeah, so we didn't do anything wrong route wise with what I have listed. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We just used to be able to get one of these solo, and that's not possible anymore. Okay, so let's figure this out. Let's just start a whole new one. The hunter wasn't using Trank Shot until after the second boss, I think. Oh, yeah. I walk around. Illidan is my character. If you want to check out what you've inspired. Sweet, man. That's great to hear that. Glad to hear it. Hey, who's that guy? Just a single mob in one of the cages. What the fuck? That's interesting. That might be what we need. That's how Metro says no. Yeah, I'm not. I'm glad that it helped, but I'm not that interested. Uh, the hunter wasn't okay with that. You can pull the mobs from the room behind first boss. No, we don't want that. Okay, so that's 60 for this. What are those? It's a lot of count, but that might be the way to do it. This might also be good. If you get 75% up top, you can get pride for the third boss. Yeah, is it is it is it no problem at all to do that? Maybe that's what we should just be doing from now on. How do you get 75 up here though? Oh, okay. You just need the gargoyle, is that guaranteed or? I think I'd rather not do that, honestly. If you want to skip Pride third boss, make sure you invis skip G34. If you want to Pride, yeah, no. I'm not really that interested in that, honestly. I just want Pride for that pack, if anything. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, like, if we already have a skip planned for elsewhere in the route, then it shouldn't be a problem, right? Either the Gargoyle or one other pack. Oh, okay. The free trash right after the boss room. The imps, almost free trash. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do that from now on. It seems like the right way to approach it. And then go downstairs. Yeah, okay, that's 80. But then we have to skip this pack, right? Only this pack? Yeah, obviously we have to pull this pack. Yeah, that's still a very good count. Okay, I like that. The three pack of small ghouls gives same count as Gargoyleite. The sprites are good to pull with the Sentinel after first boss. 
Yeah, I'm not looking to change anything in the beginning of the route. Just looking to make an adjustment in the second part of the route. Okay, that's worked out pretty well then, I guess, count wise. Okay, so can we just edit this? I'd like not to have to make a whole new one. Not sure we can, though. It's going to change everything. First things first, delete this one. Just gets added there. Uh, it's going to be kind of messy. Let's see. Okay. So we need to add here. Just combine them, I guess, just for the sake of doing it. Okay, now so that's changed nothing much. Make this orange. And then this pack gets deleted entirely. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, new note. And this is no no ch challenge at all, right? You literally just walk through them. There's no issues. Not both Garg mobs on second boss are active at the time. It's just random. There's like three locations that they can be. So it depends on where you get them. But I guess it doesn't matter. People are assuring me, I hope they're right, that it doesn't matter. Apparently this gives the same. It does look like it. Oh well, no, this is way more actually. This only gives 1.92. This gives yeah, well over 2. 2.5, but... I don't know. We'll find it out, I guess. As long as you have this pot or shroud. Shroud works fine. Okay, good. All right, good enough. Let's go ahead and do this too before I forget, actually. Pace bin. If someone dies, how people pass through that pull after third boss? Yeah, they don't. That's, that's why I hate using skips. Usually we distract it all to the right and hug left in the shroud. Okay. Good tip. Okay, where's the route spreadsheet? There it is. All right. Great. All right, so that's been updated on the sheet. I don't know why the paste bin link is so long. Oh, it's because every single letter is caps. What the fuck? <laughs> That's unlucky. All right, anyway. That's it. Neat route and all by the backtracking of around Tarvold Circle is going to cost you time. Yeah, it's, it's the best we can do, though. To get pride for the bosses, it's the only way I figured it out. All right, anyway. Balls, there we go. That'd be a good one. Nineteen theater as well. Backtracking is the best option. Yeah, there's not really too many options there. Unless you uh, want to do something wildly different, which I'm not looking to do quite yet. 
I'm only doing that because they changed the ability to split pull that one mob, which used to be perfect for the route. It's no longer perfect, so. We need to figure something out. Otherwise, I agree. I don't like going the wrong direction. As many know. Theatra. Invited. Well, that's good. Time for the daily burrito. Peace out, Metro. Hope you have a good ass day, dude. <laughs> good ass day. Thanks, Lana. Have fun with your daily burrito. That may not be a <laughs> may not be the appropriate way to get your nutrients every single day, but anyway, I'm gonna be right back. Use the bathroom. Why do you feel the need to skip that pack? I don't, yeah. It's about, uh, not about skipping it. It's about getting prides better. I'm not worried about the pack. That's not, that's not a problem for me. Just since we have to alter the route anyway, we might as well commit to getting the pride for the third boss. What is, what are we even doing? theater. <laughs> like, where's the jug gone? <laughs> I love this thing, honestly. This is the best item ever. I don't know why I didn't think about getting bigger ones before, but it has made my life so much more convenient. Do it's heavy. All right, let's go turn that quest in before we go. Wow, well, okay, what's up, buddy? What's up, nothing. All right, let's go. It's down here where the vault gods get to you. I guess so. Yeah, technically, they, they it was an interesting piece, at least. Oh, yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the overall. So it did about just under 300k down. Let's add that up exactly. 148 plus 128 is 276,000 damage. So that would again be right above melee risen ghoul, which doesn't seem like that'd be very good, but that, that's a good number. Um, that'd be about probably 4% of my damage. I mean, we don't have to worry about that. 1.8 plus 
0.5. About 3.3% only. Uh, and then, in terms of healing, it did okay. This is not really going to stand toe to toe with Blood Barrier, but it's a good offensive option. <clears throat> okay. I should get some good choices on Pally. Oh, yeah. Glad to hear that. You have my undivided attention. Someday we'll finish this rep. <laughs> I think I failed to do it again last week. The group leader needs a summon. All right. It also has leech on it, so it adds a bit on the leech healing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the item has leech on it, so I don't know exactly how much it would add to it. It's hard to tell, but it is good. I, I like the fact that it's 226 as well, though. That's pretty nice. I don't know if it's going to be good for raiding, though. We'll see. Maybe I'll use that and the other offensive trinket now, though. Uh, the real good news the real good news is that I'm going for hit number two of the COVID COVID vaccine, I see. Well hopefully you will be alright afterwards. Uh, I know quite a few people now who have had very bad reactions to it. Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses to the arena. If you are fast nervous but glad it'll be out of the way, and I hope you're right. I don't I don't think that's true, honestly. I don't see how that would ever be true, given how many new variants we've had just in the last month. I got 233 weapon from Vol. Oh, from PvP, huh? Or maybe, no, probably from reading. Well, that's cool, Gretz. I don't even know how PvP works. If you're like gladiator level, can you get 233 just out of the chest? I guess that's probably how it works. Metro, wanna do keys with me? 226 Bombkin? I'm just plugging right now, man. If we end up having a. We end up seeing each other in the group finder for sure. Yeah, from Raid. I hate Arena. <laughs> Variants are just more infectious. You're still protected. Yeah, sadly that's not how a vaccine works, but maybe. 
And it's certainly not how the flu vaccine works, so I don't know, or the flu shot works. I don't know why this would be different. He's linking my own route. So. Okay, good. Uh, you know what? We probably should have changed some things, but it's all good. Is Unholy or Frosty K better? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong person. Check out logs and stuff. I don't know. Pretty sure Unholy is probably still better, but... A lot of factors there, I, I imagine. And Holy does more burst damage, oh yeah. That, I don't know if that's true, honestly. Starfall's hitting the turnip. Oh, I guess not. I don't, I guess I don't understand how that worked then. Welcome. This guy is frost too. turn up hard to get. I don't know. I have no idea, actually. I don't know anything about it. Okay, his mob's fucking wrecked this earlier. Hopefully that won't happen again. No, it will happen again. We got that knockback, that actually helped a lot. And if you're Marsh. <laughs> okay, so that definitely could have went a lot worse. Let's see what the damage looks like, because I assume everybody used their CDs on that first ball. You can pluck it out of the ground and throw it at mobs. Was that Super Mario 2? <laughs> that happens in any other Mario game. Doki Doki Panic. I'll never forget that. Remember me and Cop were talking about that. I think I was recording it at the time as well. Yeah, we were doing those the low level BGs, that's right. Oh my god, that was such a good video, honestly. One of my favorite videos I've ever made. We had such great conversations. Ashen Halo? Good spell. Not as good as Divine Toll, though, if you ask me. I actually play it just to do that. That's a shame. Okay, well, this definitely, again, could have went way worse. Such a pain in the ass, though, how they all spread out like that. Oh, wow. Whipped on that interrupt. Unlucker.
This is like the only hard boss in all of five mans, and this is still, I mean, that was pretty well handled offensively, I suppose. We did a lot of damage, but pretty easy. I've actually been playing Ashen for a bit before 9-1, and my god, you are strong for 30 seconds and weaker than all our other pallies. Yeah. It's a long ass CD, man. Edgar, what's up? Good reset so far? Uh, actually, yeah, it's not bad so far. Got a few decent keys. Finished two keys already, so I'm very happy with that. Speaking of which, I saw a video of someone doing a speedrun of Super Mario 2 on Switch the other day. It was pretty baller, yeah. There are millions of videos of people speedrunning games, so. Welcome to the internet. Probably like the most popular thing. Besides like playthroughs. Long, in terms of like long form content that gets uploaded to YouTube. Okay. Remember which direction to go here. Okay, we had some problems here earlier, and I don't remember why. Got our ass kicked on the way. Mortal lives are so fleeting, so fragile. You've never seen it done on Switch. You know, why would anybody play a game like that on Switch? I don't know. It's a game that's been out for years. That's the healer who just died, fuck. We managed to not have any more mistakes there, so that's pretty good. Those ghosts are that I feel like that's honestly the hardest pack in the whole dungeon. It's kind of wild. There's not really that hard trash in here, but those always give me problems. Like every single time I fight them. At least for me, they're the hardest. What's the fixes? Yeah, those are them. Tyrannical raging volcanic. Not a great rune weapon, but should be back up or something. So one of the easy alternatives, yeah, I would, I would say. For me personally, I really like this week, so I have no problem with it. A lot more fun than the last few weeks, at least. A lot more fun. Necrotic is not fun and neither is Sanguine. Well, I almost fucking clicked the portal there. If I was closer to it, I would have. The only reason I didn't was because I wasn't close enough. Are you still living the sanguine dream? <laughs> yeah. yeah, in a few more, what, like 10 hours, it'll, it'll be done. Or maybe less than 10. There's resets really early, doesn't it? I'm gonna try some things on my pally and monk, all right.
server go down around 3, but come back in 15 minutes and you play and it resets at 9. Oh, that's funny. So it doesn't actually, the servers don't go down during the reset. That's strange. If you want to stay up that long, right? I know I don't. Anybody would pick that up that's not the tank? Oh, hydro pump. Man. Beware. Beware. Does that tornado do a lot of damage too, or does it just knock you back? Because I wonder if I Beware. would be better served trying to get them close together and using Death's Advance to make sure. Beware. I don't want to take a ton of damage for no reason either when it's so dodgeable. Let's find out. Okay, it does a lot of fucking damage. Yes. Alright, don't ever do that again. I think it didn't happen during the rage. I probably would have got one shot. That is not even on fortified too. Holy shit. Alright, very good first wing. Very good, actually. One death, 26 minutes at this point is very good. Let's get our mob. His name is Ice Corgi as well, I think. I don't mind having two DKs actually. It's kind of nice. Every once in a while, you need a little extra. Grip wise. It's a surprising death there, though. I'm not sure I've ever. I'm not sure I've seen someone die there. Yeah, I had a feeling we were going to waste the battle res there. That was a big waste. in here too. Thanks for testing that. Yeah. Meddle all you like, mortals. You only delay the inevitable. I don't get hydro pump as a, as a hunter though. I guess Resto Shaman wouldn't really be any better. Not like they have a damage dealing water move, do they? Not to my knowledge. Very nice. I get the first one AMS. Oh, he dispelled it? No longer very nice. I do get some small amount of random adrenaline out of watching pugs blow up their own key by not accounting for death wins. I guess. Rockshock is probably the closest, I guess. I closest. Keeps dispelling me. I don't know why you would do that. I'm the one who needs it the least. 
Oh, to a water attack move? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Not really. Not in any way similar to a Hydro Pump. Oh boy, that guy's dead. All guys are dead. What the hell's going on? Three people getting fucking slaughtered. A good length, I guess. Probably understand. dangerous. Ah, this is going to be a long fight, huh? Okay, give it to me again. Let your fears consume. I will rip your completely out of mana. He started the fight 100%, no problem, and now he's all the way, all the way to my Mass preemptively, maybe we get it. I don't even think it went out. No. How many did it? It wasn't coming up for a while. That was a different mechanic. Okay, well, we did survive it. Our challenges have passed the first trial, but they're still a long way from the title. It's actually really nice to be able to blink extra times here. Kind of did it to him to spot. Yeah, I guess I agree, but it's more remarking at like how difficult fights can be. That short of a fight in like a raid scenario would never cause anybody to go um right. This is where unholy DKs learn slappy hands. That's where they got it from, yep. Jesus. Rage. Metro, you think it would be a good idea? Hold on. When there's a high chance you're not timing a key, you ask if they want to finish it, not time. Yeah. Try to talk as little as possible. Honestly, if you don't need kill to bring it on four plus spike, yeah, I agree. Actually, I agree. I'm clear on Turan weeks since DPS on spike scales up to five targets, but the fact is 226 and has leech. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's probably better than the burst situation anyway. I'm glad I got it. I don't even have the kill thoughts trinket, but if I did, I would agree. What the fuck is going on with my character? What the hell was that about? That was what Riptide looks like or something maybe? Take the guy who heals, since apparently last time it caused a big fucking problem for somebody. I have it on Pally and DK, it's nice. Think cheat death trinket is ever worth it? You can't avoid death if you play better. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of cheat deaths in general, but I would use it uh, on keys that I don't feel like I'll be able to play perfectly on. 
Especially when I'm streaming, I think it would be a good option. Okay. So there's a lot. The cool thing is we could actually mind control this guy. Really want to do that though. Okay, it's not the best. The best rogue players do more DPS than the best demon hunter players. All right, thanks for letting me know. I was worried about that, honestly. Uh, on 18, there is a chance you die. It, yeah, no doubt. It's just nice to have. But one mistake doesn't end the key usually. Ever played Brewmaster? Yeah, Brewmaster was like my main all in mop when it was really, really ridiculous. But not too much since then. I'm not a big fan of what they changed. I thought I would like it more now in Shadowlands, but it still ends up being like not too satisfying from what I could tell. Oh my god, really? That is really lame. Fucking mob jumped away from me as I went to Heart Strike it to refresh my force stack. Unless if no threat of death, but vengeance on 18 or higher need it. Because you can just die if a kick is missed. So yeah. So the trinket doesn't give me any value. Most of the time when I die, it's because the party is dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the reason why I don't like cheat deaths. A lot of the times it's gonna just proc when I don't even need it. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like it's not even, a, it's just a wipe. It's not an actual death. Get this guy before he leaves. Beware. Oh, it resets the CD. Oh, that's cool. Enough. Didn't know that part. Well, I didn't remember Beware. that part. I guess I probably knew that, but. Been so fucking long since I've still not gotten it. Beware. Yeah, I don't know, a good DPS trinket is 5% of your damage. Having a cheat death is invaluable. If you use it, for sure, 100%. I would say as a DPS it would be invaluable, 100%, because you're gonna die as a DPS a lot if you don't play perfectly, but as a tank I make mistakes all the time and I still don't die, so I don't know. Five percent tank damage doesn't time a key, not wiping times a key, that's true. We've stunned that one. Hopefully, it doesn't do it again. Can you mind control and enrage mob? Probably not. You think yourself a little lucky there. Gifted, but you will learn humility. Hmm. I didn't even see that happen.
I mostly use the Hakkard Trinket plus the PvP Haste Trinket. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Those PvP Trinkets are really good for tanks. From what I can tell. Hello there. How do you feel about this week in Mythic Plus? It seems pretty good to me. I like this week. Probably my favorite to fix set that's on a tyrannical week. This would be the test. Let's see. Hardest boss. I don't know. That first boss is definitely harder, but. Both mechanically and uh, numerically difficult fight. Not parry. I don't even give. Can you even parry that? I'm not sure. If I get the card trick out of my pally today, I'm going to scream. Oh wow! You wake the neighbors. I'm telling you, I'm having so much more success on Tyrannical Weeks than 45 Weeks. It's kind of wild. Probably did DOS at least 10 times on my monk and didn't get it. Oh wow, 10 times. Pretty slow on time though, actually. Holy shit. Yeah, it's actually gonna be a downgrade, it looks like. Fuck. Wow, that's crazy. We're doing so well. Usually it's 11 minutes at this point that I feel like it's quite comfortable, but under that already seems pretty tight. Although I guess we'll fly through some of these bosses, or some of these trash pulls. We also had much better success on Tyrannical Weeks, which feels odd based on my spec lacking single target. Oh yeah. Tyrannical. They, they nerfed the fuck out of Tyrannical Weeks, so honestly it's just easier now. My blade will bathe in your blood. Really gonna need a perfect last boss, I think. You can't have any fucking issues with the mind control mob being all dumb. Uh, I told you halls on the other side is too tight. Yeah, I know you believe it, but the point is that they can't just keep nerfing every dungeon's timer, dude. Or buffing it, or whatever. Don't know, some dungeons are harder on Fort than on Tyrannical. Well, yeah, obviously. The dungeon's well made, that should always be the case. It's the point of a fix, is in the end. Hello, I'm kind of a bit late. Uh, okay. Sorry to hear that, man. Try to be on time in the future. Just kidding. Just kidding. I mean, the good thing about this part is we're not gonna have any deaths to this trash. Hopefully. Maybe we will. <laughs> I definitely say theater is easier on Tyrannical. That, yeah. I don't know. You think I bought a. Damn, there we go. 
You think a dungeon with five bosses is an easier boss, easier to place on Tyrannical? Hard to get behind. Your bones will adorn my armor! To be fair, there's a lot of mini bosses. Awful lot. Oh, this guy's really far. What the hell? I res them. Why didn't he take it? We're gonna have a death here, aren't we? Okay, the unbreakable guard. Just gotta get that druid about 50. Okay, we're good. Now that was probably not my fault, but I guess kind of my fault. Could have swore I rest him and he took it, I don't know. No. Oh. Well on the brick no, oh, another guy released. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty tight here. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. Well both of our enrages are dead, so that's gonna be a wipe to this guy now. I don't know why you would even on it's just gonna be a wipe. Fucking farm by this mob. Turn it size would be easier if the first boss didn't have a soft and rage timer. Right. Oh, line of sight, it. It's news to me. This mob is the worst of the mini bosses. I guess I agree. Can technically choose, but yeah. I am unaware of an easy way to make that happen. Oh, Turn nameplates off by accident. Now it's just getting a bit silly, I don't know what's happening. Falling apart quick. Last ones that attacks is the one you get, I'm aware of that, but I don't know how to actually make that happen in a pug. I actually don't think that's GG, honestly. But we'll see. Obviously, uh, the previous problems were. Watch Elsamir talking about. It. Why did the group crumble? I'm not sure. They take turns hitting each other. When you trigger the RP, the one that is attacking is the one that will win. Yeah. I know all about it. I just don't know how to make that actually happen in a pug because the way you trigger the RP is run near them, and you need five people to not do that. So. God, this is doing a lot of damage to us. Did not get out of that one.
Yeah, I guess he was right. It's taking fucking forever to die. I don't have no deaths there, though. That's surprising. The buff you got in this boss needs to be better. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean, like, on Blizzard's end, not in this group's end, I guess. I kind of agree, it's a bit, uh, lackluster, right? In a perfect world, DKs would be anti-pallies, what the fuck is that? They kind of are, right? That's why death and decay exists, and all that. In Warcraft 3, they were literally the exact opposite of the Paladin, basically. Oh, got hit. It's actually a net zero because one loses damage. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Probably just kill boss yet. Just jump down, mob. No need to run all the way around. Return to the central chamber. It's time to begin the main event. Well, the Terran Gorfian style was a bit different. Well, that's completely different. What we're talking about at all. Are you ready for some carnage? Our rising stars now face the longest reigning champion of the Edward of Pain and Death. That's talking about item level? What the fuck? How's it going, Metro? Inferno Master, what's up? How's it going, man? I'm alright. Uh, how you feeling about this week's affixes? I like it. It's a fun week. How exhaustingly predictable. Just barely missed the upgrade. Nah, actually, we're pretty far off. Two, three minutes off, probably at least. But you will learn What's the buff right now? What does that mean? That mini boss cost the key. Yeah, that segment there where we had like seven deaths to two targets, basically. That burn doing a 205 item. Level. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know what this, like, what item level has to do with it. But Damage was not great, I guess, either. I don't know. I didn't actually notice what was wrong with the group on so because it seemed like everything was going very well for a while. Behold my power and despair! Still would have been close. I agree, yeah. I didn't think we were upgrading it when we got to that hall. We were about a minute behind where I normally am when I feel like it's comfortable. Okay, we got an AMS. AMS now, right now. No ad spawns for me. The dragon. The buff on the boss when someone wins the fight. What is it? As a tank, I never see it. My boss at 60%, by the way. These, yeah, these guys actually suck. This fucking druid is wow. Yeah, Metro literally missed the timer on the other side by one second. No joke. 43 minutes and one second. <laughs> Sanguine, yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. 
and slaughter will be returned tenfold. The fuck was that? next I guess I don't is it still gonna happen even though we've had three already yeah I guess yeah. resets I guess Back up for the next set. You're a mortal Ken. I love that, right? Maybe I won't think that. A few seconds short. I think there will be another set. We should probably use AMS for an actual spell. Actual cast. Yeah. Uh, we weren't upgrading this regardless. I want to know what Ken actually means in this context. Look it up. I mean, it makes kind of kind of makes sense what it means, right? Guess we got another key done though. It's good. Victory and glory oh, I love that blue yours. liquid thing. It's awesome. Yeah, I see that's what I'm saying. I just don't get it. I'm not sure what's up with Druid. It must be hard to do it. I don't know, but I keep seeing Druids like that. I don't understand. I really don't. I love Reaping Sight that my warrior just reflected completely. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's fun, but I'd rather Death Strike. Way more fun. Okay, well, we have time for one more key, so we might as well get one done and then not have to worry about it. Tomorrow we can do our pallet. Uh, I'd love to do a 19, but I kind of want to just get a key done. Although that is not the key. Falls 19. That's the one. Can one's range of knowledge or sight. There you go. Oh, shig. Enjoy a round of golf on me, thanks actually. That's about exactly how much I would need to play golf. Enjoy a round of golf on me. Can do, man. Thanks a lot. Very generous. 35 bucks. Can you show damage frost? Yeah, sure. Let's see. There you go. Screenshot it because I also want to look at my own damage real quick. Alright, you got it? I'm closing it. Okay, so the trinket did pretty good. Not bad. The Offensively decent. I'm new. Uh, but how are you liking Death's Dew? I've been running Swarming Mists and not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, um, it's really good. I like Death's Dew a lot. It's been buffed a couple times now in a couple different ways. So It was not great at the beginning, but now it is quite good. It's a fancy way of saying her power lies beyond our ability to understand, I guess. Right, that's kind of what she's saying. That Frosty K is pumping, yeah. It's like they're just good among a group of bad, basically, unfortunately. You plus healer DPS was almost the same as the Bombkin. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was only a few. We did eight, eight and a half million, basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that to the sheet. Yeah, Death's Dew is... It's hard to use well. 
but it's very powerful if you can maximize it for sure. And that was Theater 19, Theatra. That was another completion. And we had Shaman, and it was DK, Hunter, and Bombkin, there we go. All right, we got that one on the sheet now too. 376 keys on this Blood Death Knight. Kinda, kinda wild, I guess. I wonder what my actual... Enjoy a hot dog and a cold one at the turn on me. <laughs> at the turn. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Ten bucks. We got everything going now for golf. Who's going to buy me a whole new set of irons? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't need a new set of irons. I just bought a bunch of clubs last year. I'm very satisfied with them. Thanks for the ten bucks, though. Very generous. Ooh, a feast. So put it on because my food buff is only going to last 15 minutes anyway. I'll be crafting crimson this week. Looking forward to it, even though it's on tyrannical. Oh, yeah, no problem. It's going to be good no matter what. Itaka. What the fuck does that say? Is that Spanish or is it Japanese? It looks Japanese. I guess Brazilian. Portuguese? Oh, we interviewed a guy. I don't want to... Maybe I shouldn't say it out loud. I won't, I won't bring it up, just in case. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Here we go. Okay, last key of the day, likely. Well, unless it's a disband. A very quick one. Then we'll do one more. We are vastly outnumbered mortals. The Forsworn have cut a swath through most of our forces. Vanquish their rear guard while I confront Devos. Go in service. Oh my god, my pet stunned the imbue weapon cast. <laughs> the one thing we don't want to get interrupted, that's funny. Not sure what I want to craft for my playstyle on DK first. Well, there's not really much playstyle inducing legendaries, so I don't think there'll be much to consider, unfortunately. They're not particularly well balanced right now either, unfortunately. Crimson Rune Up is probably non negotiable, yeah, I would say. Unless you plan on doing a lot of raiding on that character. I would just get Crimson Rune Weapon and not look back. I'm bored of Super Strain. Oh, yeah, Super Strain. Yeah, it's definitely not a... It was so passive, too. It's just kind of... Not exciting. But it's powerful. It's good for raiding, is the thing. So if you're gonna... If you're gonna play DK in a raiding environment a lot, then yeah, you probably want that for sure. I'm busting weeks. I want to use the vamp or a leech share legendary. Yeah, it's an interesting concept, but it has to be up during vamp blood. I don't think busting is the best case scenario. Probably be grievous if anything. You were the paragon of loyalty, Devos. And yet Actually, grievous would be really good. You who led the force be able to heal up quicker. I use it for raid. Time to get a mythic Your plus one, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to get to two either all. now, so you plenty of time. No really good for pride and hard pulls. I think it would be good for pride, yeah. See that the I don't know, do it's not just interfere. doesn't really benefit you much at all. Now that they buffed it, it's a lot more beneficial. Obviously, it used to literally do nothing for you, but... I thought I'd end up using it in raid, but I never really felt like we needed it. Well, actually, maybe we could have used it now, uh... Maybe I should think about getting it for uh, Council, huh? Pretty good on Council. Has to pick five people that need help, though, is the problem with Raid. Ran my first 17 Spires yesterday, and the tank 
took the left way instead of the right. Oh, we didn't do this well. Ruin the whole key. Oh, really? It shouldn't be that different, honestly. I'm talking about the Sanguine Week. I mean, that really won't make too much of a difference. I'm gonna be tanking on both Pally and DK this year, since I play them nearly the exact same way. So I don't know. Neither do I. If you don't know, I don't know. That's for sure. It's dying slow. I've said there's a ton of squad leaders. Yeah, but are you part of a squad? Okay, let's pay attention to this one. It's gonna be slightly tough. Somebody's dead already. And so am I. This fight, I always make so many mistakes on this fight, it's crazy. It's such a simple fight, it's insane. I need to stop running around. I will tell you though, uh, Flink, many people just go left and it's considered fine, so. The boss gets hairy on Tyrannical Weeks. Obviously it's way harder on Tyrannical Weeks than it is on Fortify Weeks, but <laughs> it's just such a simple boss and the amount of mistakes I make on it is kind of staggering. Still working on getting that sidestep timing down. Yeah, I've never even bothered with that to be honest. I don't feel like it's particularly accurate, like replicatable. Easy to do, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So I just stopped trying. It's easier as a death knight to just use the active mitigation spells you have. My big issue is not getting hit by the stupid birds thing. Honestly, sidestepping into that too, I can only imagine. Regardless, Spires is IMO, the easiest key so far as expansion. It's rarely about route. Yeah, I agree. That's what I was saying before about this dungeon. Actually, it's like such a pain. Some of the trash is such a pain. Um, but if it's. Okay, see you later. But if it's just handled well, it's extremely straightforward. Is that overhead slash? Uh, no, it doesn't. So you could like you should feel able to do that, but I just I don't ever really do it because I just don't really feel like I ever actually succeed at doing it. So it's just a waste of kind of mental energy. I um, need to single target the squad leader, then AOE the pack. Does the cracked ground on quacking do damage? Cracked ground. You talking about in this group? This is a, that's earthquake. It's not, it's not quacking. I thought it smacked DPS. No, they, they I did at one point, but they changed it very early, I believe. Spires have so big timer. Yeah, it's pretty generous. If that's what you mean. By so big. They'll never they'll never find us here. We're gonna hide. Two deaths already to relatively bad mistakes, but no problem really with those. I don't feel like they'll cause any issues. What a great spell Death Grip is. What a great, great, great spell. I just love it.
Okay, next pride here. I've been doing a decent job with pride, I guess. First one was pretty slow, but nobody died. And we have the balance food. Struggling to surmount the 3k club. Scenario we detailed. Playing with Prot Warrior at the moment, the only thing I miss Bloody Gear is actually Death Grip. Yeah, no, Death Grip's like the best spell in the game for <laughs> 5 in utility, right? I tried to line of sight the skirmishers today at the exact same spot, but they hurled at me from the stairs. Yeah, you have to be right against the little light post thing. Very close, you have to be very close. Yes, this is wow. Reason, this is the world of Warcraft. The must stand united. Okay, let's see if we can get a good AMS here. Not so long as you oh, okay, we stun them. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Oh, no, we stun them again. <laughs> Forget it. It's actually Earthquake knocking them down, so... My greatest ally has become my greatest foe. And we're gonna have another great grip here. Soon, maybe not. Interrupt that as much as we can. There we go. I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when. Oh my god, that guy's doing good damage now. That's probably it. I wish I wish I realized it while it was happening. Yeah, you have to be right against the ledge there. Okay. Got a little lucky there. I just blindly put the ND down and it worked out. <sighs> Next pack is going to be quite difficult though. Good. So far, we're doing very well. Please take me, fly me across. Thank For you. For eons, we have been told to purify ourselves, to let go of our memories, our identities. Doing? What the hell is that guy doing? All in the name of service. But what do we serve? An impotent. What are we ripping about? An oppressive law. Our sacrifice were made for nothing. Wait, what is this? Why is there just a cat? I'm so confused. What is happening? I have absolutely no idea what's going on right now. That's the droid, isn't it? I'm so fucking confused. You think yourself exception gift. Okay, anyway, um, I started going the right path instead of left lately. I felt like it's a tad bit easier. But only if your group can't. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't know. Both sides have some complications. What is this? What the fuck is happening here? It's not a druid. It's not him. He's back there. I have no fucking idea what that is, and it's freaking me out, honestly. The fact that nobody else is commenting on it is particularly worrisome. 
Guess we probably should have pulled all of it. Agree, both sides can be tough. I am of the mobs inspire some of the harder mobs. I agree, there's some weird mechanical uh, stuff going on on both sides. Bruh. Does anybody know what that is? Stop making me seem like I'm not I'm the only one who doesn't know what's going on. I saw that cat in here on a subreddit. Oh, really? Nobody knows about... Tell me what the cat is. I just want to know the answer. I guess it's a joke or some kind of Easter egg put in the game. Who knows? I tell you what, I love seeing this shock barrier icon though. It's awesome. Okay, here we go. Pick oh, very bad. I don't know how that happened. I put D&D &D down. Guess Blizzard never addressed it. I mean, I don't think there's anything to address. It's gotta be some kind of like Easter egg, I guess. I am the biggest chimp in Azeroth. I thought the Shaman Earthquake was part of quacking. Oh, you thought it was the affix? Oh no. Yeah, that's not even an affix right now, my friend. <laughs> that was, wait, 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 wait. Was last week quacked? Maybe, it was. I can't even remember. It's been a while since I played. I think it was, wasn't it? Cracking Sanguine, yeah, that's, that was the last one. Alright, I'll give you a free pass. Just because it was last week. I guess we could bring him up in here. Yeah, we still have quacking. I forgot. Yeah. Cool. Last week was Fort Sanguine Quack. Yep. That's funny. Has there ever been a Grievous Necrotic Week? No, that's two fixes on the same level. That can't happen. Perhaps the easiest week in the whole rotation. How about that part. Okay, let's rock 'em, sock 'em. This is where you meet your end. Ooh, the moons are falling. My celerity is second to none. Witness radiance. Got pretty lucky there. That guy's dead though. Somebody survived. You cannot match my alacrity. Beware. Your sight is your downfall. He's getting slaughtered by that shit. Can't just be the debuff he's getting hit by. Beware. From the shadows, I witness your demise. Celerity is second to none. Witness. Well, it was going well. Now it's going slow. That shaman is. I, I feel like he will not live this. Your skills are lacking. I was correct. You cannot match my alacrity. Witness radiance. From the shadows, mm. I witness your demise. It's not good. Hi, boss. You cannot match. Kind of lucky you're just running around. Don't get it. Okay. Sketchy, very long fight, but it's fine.
Okay, the spot where the cat form jumped off was the skip a certain must. druid player found. They patched it at 905 and put it in a travel form that jumps off at the skip as an Easter egg. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I knew it had to be something. It was a pretty funny. The folly of Some bosses place. have great lines in Shadowlands dungeons. Ventanax is not one of them. Yeah. yeah. My salary is second to yours. Heroes! That's the best one, yeah. I like how the boss taunts you that you're not skilled enough and then someone dies. Oh, you like that? Good. <laughs> oh, we don't have any way to skip this. Just realized. Maybe he's got him out. Yeah, it looks like it. Hey, what's he doing? Wait, did he invis pot? Yes. Didn't look like he was invisible. Okay, what's going on here? I just realized, oh my god, this is four Azralon? Oh no, it's one Area 52. Okay. Four fiends if we need it. I don't have working through this now though. Fuck. Close second. Uh, also, Bonsani, he's talking about love. Yeah. How's Blood doing in Mythic Plus and Raid? Uh, I think they're doing great everywhere. Shaman, why would the shaman does? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Your defiance must be punished. And suddenly he gets force choked, so yeah. That is kind of good, I, I agree with that. One more of those, right? You must be annihilated. Oh fuck, I'm dead. Wow, oh, had AMS there, that's not good. Hopefully Paladin can handle it. I'm sounding, I think, as two of the greatest lines of any NPC, so... Yeah. 
It's a pretty good character, that's for sure. Alright, Paladin and this one. That's my my mistake there, wasting AMS. Probably would have did way more damage to me to this guy as well. Metro had his fair share of depleted keys back in the day. <laughs> you were right about that. Very bad job with this. You must be annihilated. Why is he not doing a third one? Dude, he did a third set here. really well done honestly. I don't know what was going on there. Could have swore he did a third set the second time around. As I peered into Uther's memories, what I saw shook me to the core. But you refuse to see the truth. That the path is flawed. That's cool. At least we'll get our four keys done it looks like. So we can do Paladin tomorrow then. That'd be fun. I listened to the jailer's words. <laughs> I learned of the great injustice you and the others thrust upon him, and upon us all. He seeks to free us from the prison we have built for ourselves. And for that, he has earned my loyalty. And I mourn your betrayal. <laughs> This guy doesn't wait. You no, know, we don't have. I need to head out. Good luck finishing the key. All right, see you. Yes, yeah, the last key looks like one way or the other. So we'll be back for raid. Two hours. The orb timing is based on how many charges stomped you dodge, is it? This 
move him. Big move. Does it actually matter what order you do these three in? Yes. Well, it matters practically, but not to the game. It's sad damage, honestly. I, I don't know what's up with people's damage anymore, but it's getting, it seems like it's getting worse. Right, fucking through that. Okay, gonna have to do some real damage here, guys. Fucking 2K, man. What a joke. I, I, I'm so sick of this class. It is so sad to have to say this out loud because I was Team Bombkin for 99% of my life and now I don't ever want to fucking see them again. It's insane. I cannot believe how the tables have turned. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, when the tank is second on damage on the hardest trash mob in the dungeon, it's probably not a good thing. Bomb can save and save these, lose friends. I mean, so we're, we're gonna have this, then the pride, and then the boss, right? So, has he saved CDs for all three of these things? If so, he could have used them at least twice in that time. You know what I mean? I mean, I know we wipe, but hey, we're gonna wipe again, honestly. We're, we're gonna wipe again. Can you de enrage it? Hello? I mean, I really don't understand this. I really don't under- why do, why do you play Balanced Druid? Why does anybody play this fucking spec? I really don't get it. I cannot believe how it's turned into this flavor of the month. Oh, I'm just gonna sit here and use damage three minutes and nothing else. Dude. And those ferals slowly climbed up Metro's heart right now. Fuck, ferals even worse. But. or not. We're still going to wipe to that suit that not not being suited.
another death. Holy shit. Okay, we got battle royals. Good. I was thinking a tyrannical week. This crash. No, it doesn't really matter where you lost, honestly. It doesn't help that much for the boss. You would just need to actually use cooldowns, which for some reason nobody ever wants to do in this video game. Even I know to sue that on my hunter and bumpkin. This guy's just an idiot. Just like has no awareness whatsoever. He's claiming he was dead. He's dead because he didn't sue the fucking mob. How do you not realize that, that is ridiculously dangerous? Shami chilling, almost dead during Pride, still just sit outside of AMZ. <laughs> yep. Come to Azerlan. Well, that guy's actually not even from Azerlan. That's the Area 52 individual. What the hell? They're all over there. Wow. That's rare. It's gonna do it, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna upgrade this though, I just realized. It's gonna be a downgrade because we wiped three times the same mob. To fight the mob three times, I guess. You hit the one minute point. Break instead of 70% point break. Oh, really? Didn't even know that was a thing. Seventy or one minute. That's funny. I didn't know that. Hot our fucking damage is bad. Holy shit! I think we're wiping here. Yep. This is fucking insane, honestly. What's damage overall? I don't know. We'll see at the end. Rip run. It was already going to not be an upgrade. I mean, I literally don't care. As long as we finish this, it's the only thing I care about here. I don't know, man. I'm just so sick of playing with these fucking idiots all day, every day. I don't understand how anybody could play a DPS and could do this little DPS on some packs. It's like, you think that this is, like, your only thing that you're actually going to do well? You think you would be so focused on it that you would never let that happen. But it's the complete opposite. I guess they they only care about looking at, like, a, the, they're, like, trying to play a, 
some game with themselves to see how high they can burst or something like that. So they never fucking do anything unless it's maximized uh, like cooldown window. I feel like this is the end. I sense the disband. Missing buttons on their keyboard, maybe. How can they be invited in 18? I'm pretty sure they're all together. They're all from the same realm, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. guys are all pretty good. The druid is not, but the other people are. This spear shall pierce your heart. This spear shall pierce your heart. Holding that last till next key. I don't know if it's been five minutes. Okay, we hit 60% there. Howling rage. Is it me or in your last key the bombkins were pretty low? Yeah, but it's every key. I, I don't. I rarely, rarely, rarely ever play with a balancer who does a good job damage-wise. So rare. They all just sit on CDs and don't seem to ever use them. Like they sit on them for like five minutes. And like, okay, we just gotta wipe here again. Well, I guess we're not getting four keys done this week. I mean, like, what is actually going on, man? How, how, this game is really not this difficult. I don't know. I just don't understand it. Your soul ends the Archon's misguided reign. Watch Pally use Spear with Wings and Pride still up. Boss landed at 39%. Bastion as well, like how, how could you not heal through that? I don't even understand. Metro progressing even outside of Mythic. Oh boy, these guys are definitely not fit for 18. Crazy how well the beginning went compared to this. The age of the false swarm is at hand. Use AMZ in that phase. I'm using it for the pride, my guy. Thanks for your amazing tips as always.
Holy fucking Christ, man. Everybody's alive, at least. Be gone from this place. The spear used it to bring her down. No, the boss doesn't take any reduced damage or anything from that. It was going well, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like the hardest part was done well, relatively. The second boss was fairly long, but it wasn't poor. It wasn't done poorly. I mean, how do you get hit by that? Honestly, that has hit four people now. This pull, this pull alone. Fucking sick. I'm just, just gonna die now. I'm so tilted, man. I don't know how I. I don't know. I don't know how I proceed. It should not be this unfun to be playing this game. Super playing with people who just are not ready for anything they're ever doing. Is a warrior main never seeing rally being pressed is pissing me off. Oh, yeah. You show the holy pally talents. At this point, I'm more impressed that nobody wants to call it. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. Bring that at least to the table. You think yourself exceptional, gifted, but you will learn humility. What's killing people? Uh, I should have had the boss closer there. But people keep getting hit by the frontal charge, like literally constantly. Every time it goes out, it hits somebody, it feels like. Two people died to it on one charge before. Which shouldn't even be possible because it only charges that one person at a time. How do you keep getting pride? You serious? Run away, little girl. Run away. I will strike you down. The Archon Spear is mine to wield. Be gone from this place. Take up my spear! 
Not much pride left in this group. Good thing I saved AMZ for this. And he missed. You can spawn pride and reset lust. Yes. I don't know how you don't know that. Well, I guess we're doing another set of keys tomorrow on the, on the DK. So ends the Archon's It's better to use AMZ after because when everybody has the stacking dot on them, they could stand in it. But when everybody's running around there, it's never going to be very useful. I have many lucky dudes you like. Azerlon man. Hmm. Well, that was, yeah, okay. We've had a lot of wastes of time recently, but that was definitely the biggest waste of time. But at least it was fun to watch, I'm sure. All right, so I'll be back tomorrow with more Bloody Decay keys then. Forget a holy belly. Uh, but yeah, no, I gotta get off. So we'll see you for a raid tonight, hopefully. Don't know what's gonna happen. We got a bunch of people missing again, so hopefully we'll have something going on tonight. Uh, and then if not, it's tomorrow one way or the other for DK and right again. So, and then, like I said, if you didn't see the beginning of the stream, which was five hours ago now, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how much I can continue to stream on the weekend for the coming weeks, uh, for a variety of reasons, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's see overall. All right, let's see. Please press rally, Mr. Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Alright, we'll see you guys tonight or tomorrow or something.